uh, people were telling me hore uh, but now go sara ikaroba ta chelte fitanya ya openheimer ya mama ngir but i mean why does that matter matter yes. why does it matter that's it why must that matter mm, like you know the the measurement yes why is that yes, why is that an yes. issue i gave them this light Uh, which they today deny and want to because they must pay me but it's hey. fine <laughs> so great little guy <laughs> you see what i mean i can i can clearly say zero king king david studio podcast we have with us uh, nkosana uh, uh, makate yes makate makate eh ba makate what's what out here eh ba makate ki they come from the free state okay hillbron uh, yeah. it's not too far Uh, from Joburg, I think it's about what 75 kilometers, 100 kilometers. In what direction? Kronstadt direction. Uh, you you pass the Val. Uh, okay. You can sit straight. Uh, then there's a 50 kilometer stretch that you get. Yeah. Then the first town that you hit will be Hilbron. Uh, that's where we come from. Honada. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm not from there. I'm from Katlehong. You know, I was, <laughs> oh, born, oh, I was born in the Eastern. Yeah, no, no. They moved, um, and I was born. Uh, it's my mother who was born that other side of town. I okay. was born here. Yes. Uh, I go at home. Have they taken yes. you to 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 Ibron at all? No, I've been there a couple of times. I yeah. mean, I was there the past uh, week uh, for the funeral of one of the Makates. Yeah. Uh, a cousin of of uh, of my mother had died, yeah. so I went there for the funeral. Yeah. So you're still in touch with with those those roots, clearly. No, no, definitely. I mean, it's it's I I. I used to frequent the place my elder brother bought a farm that's I still own the farm so would go and visit there uh, often so yeah yeah I'm still I'm still very much in touch is there is there a big setup of family members uh, Bahama Kati who are still based in in Hilbro? Y- yes you still have a lot of Makates there uh, although I mean it has dwindled over over but you still find a, a good chunk uh, because I mean that's where they they located yeah. I think from both Frankfurt deep in Free State, then they went and settled to go go Hilbron. Yeah, Hilbron, by the way, used to the, be the, the capital city of Free State before Plumfontein, <laughs> so it was supposed to be the thing, and then something happened. I'm not. I wonder. Sure what. I wonder the politics. I'm not of sure the what. Day. I'm not sure what. Yeah. So, so, so at some point there were promises, and yes, clearly yes, they never was, happened. Was a, it was supposed to be the the town near Free State, yes. but that never happened. Yeah. You know, it's it's such a, a privilege to have you here. We always have a list of people whom we want to interview, and it's a long. Long list of of people. It includes Nelson Mandela. Believe it or oh, not. Oh yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you made it on that list Already for feel us. Privileged. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You made it on that list for us, and I remember thinking, "Geez, man, I hope he says yes." And yours was a very easy yes. Yes, it. Yes. Yes, it. But I think I had to postpone for a couple of times and whatever it because is. I could not make it. But yeah, yeah eventually. Do do you do you get a lot of these type of requests? And I say type of because you probably get a lot of the interviews with people who are interested in your story. Yeah, I I think it it normally happens when there is a big thing happening. Ah. In my case, when there's a huge air, uh, then you get yes. a host of radio interviews yeah. and TV interviews that I have to do. But I mean, yeah. In 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 between that, you do get some. Mm, uh, mm. Like I was doing the defunct magazine. Yes, uh, you're saying. That yeah, I was saying to you. And it was, or it's uh, an Africaner based. It's an Africaner uh, based. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what were they looking for? I I would get skeptical. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think they were recommended within the circle of people that know me in okay. in that world because yeah. I'm 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 quite a a vast person. A diverse. My le- legal team. <laughs> I mean, it's quite Africana, you know, uh, and I uh, and Jewish as well. Yes, yes. So so yeah, and then also the uh, duckies, you know, of course, that we have in the team. So yeah. it's it's it's. So diverse it's from that, uh, yeah, yeah, network, yeah, that I've established over the years. Was it a worthwhile chat? Do you find these conversations worthwhile sometimes? No, it was, it was. I mean, I think it was quite a a. I, I always, I mean, I, I found it to be quite worthwhile because uh, the thought process mm. of of going through and preparing. Because she she sent me a questions in really? advance, I had to answer them, wow. and I thought that process was quite unique and different. Yeah, and, yeah. and it got me really into immersing myself into your own my issues. own time. Yeah, uh, with with my own issues and wow. and reflecting on a lot of issues. Yeah, and I think she found that quite. Um, But uh, it's a magazine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a magazine. Yes, it's a magazine, yes. you know, yeah. online. And I think uh, they also do hard copies, but it's prima- yeah. it's going more online okay. now. Yeah. Do you find that, um, uh, you know, with these these requests, and I guess because I've seen so many of your interviews as well in preparation for this, do you do you see value in in the interviews for yourself? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, th- I think they do because for me, uh, like I'm saying, the theme is always the same. And yes. I mean, but the more you do the interviews, I find that because of the richness of my journey and then yeah. how long I've traveled it, yeah. uh, different things always uh, always come out, mm. different perspectives, ways of looking at my journey and things that sometimes are probably buried in my subconscious <laughs> tend to uh, uh, reveal, get yes. revealed by questions that I get asked. Yeah. So so I find them to be quite different all the time. And I, I mean, I always get bored with the same thing anyway. I never say my story the, <laughs> the same, same way. way. You're you so know, right. It's always different. It's always different. <laughs> you get the same questions, but you don't always yeah. give the no, same answer. No, they are not the same answer. The theme will be the same. Yeah. Because I mean, it's the same story. True. But I yeah. mean, yeah, the answers are always different uh, depending yeah. on what's asked. And depending on the frame of mind that of I've course eaten. in that time yeah. yeah there's there's two interviews uh it was two two different uh news networks <laughs> you dressed the same way so i imagine it was around the same time yeah and it was now recently when okay. you when when the the five percent and the oh, whole yes, thing yes, came yes, up yes, yeah yes, yes and and I you I, I did those interviews within an hour in all the networks i agree you know i saw that 404 <laughs> and, and e-news so they were the same but i'm sure c- the content was not the same because the questions were, were different the questions were different one of them was quite in depth which was yeah. good uh, you know asking about state of mind which is not always the mm-hmm. case i realize people want to be on the surface mm-hmm. and ask about the money mm-hmm. it's very quick there then the question about numbers you you consistently avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most interesting about yeah, watching your interviews. Yeah, yeah. Why do you do that? No, I think I think it's it's f- firstly it's subjury care. I mean, mm. uh, you you know that um, a, a determination had to be done. The t- determination still has to be done because an order has been given. So so I I tend to stay away from that yeah. uh, because of mainly that, but mm. but also. Uh, I, I think it's it's not so important that much, you okay. know. Uh, I don't think it's a, a maybe the public wants it, but public wants to know about it. But I don't think for me it's a matter of public importance yeah. that I would like to share, that I would like people to know about. Let's be fair, yeah. uh, 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 Uncle Sarah, that yeah. it's the story. Yes, the number. It's the story. Yes, yes. Uh, look, remove it's everything. It's icing else. on the cake. It's not the story. The story is is the invention <laughs> that's, itself. That's you. It's the, the the legal battles that I've I've been. I think the richness of the story is found in that. No, no, uh, no. More than the number. The number is basically just a consequence. You, you of and this I, entire thing. you and I, yeah. as as adults here, <laughs> yeah. agree. Yeah, Mary. Anyone will say, so great of guy. <laughs> you see what I mean? I can clearly I can say zero. <laughs> well, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But that is likely to be the question. Yeah. But I, I like how you're saying, well, it's, the, it's the last five, two minutes of the game. Yes, no, definitely. I mean, I think uh, in all boxing, but championship rounds. Yes. Uh, we, are <laughs> well, in the, unless, we are unless, in the championship rounds with Vodacom. That's now. where you are. Eh? Yeah, that's where we are. That's this, is, this is the, the final. The, the SCA, I think, uh, yeah, uh, in a couple of months' time, yeah, will be a very critical step in this journey. Were you in in this journey? Did you at any point see yourself in the in the championship round? At, yeah, I, have I, you always thought it's it's likely to happen? I, th- I think I think I always had belief. I mean, even when I lost at the high court, I always had belief. Mm. I mean, uh, surprisingly, I mean, the immediate interview that I was given uh, regarding my loss after I had lost yes. in 2014 or something like that was that, I mean, we still have the uh, constitutional court to go to. I never even mentioned the SEA and I then lost at the SEA. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was dismissed with with, with, with no with, prospects with, of success. Yes. With costs. And with costs. Yes, and with these costs. are not small costs. No, they're not small costs. Yes. Um, <laughs> luckily, I mean, in my on my part, uh, uh, they were then, uh, the whole judgment was reversed mm. by the constitutional court. And rightly so, because there were serious issues that had to be dealt with yeah. for this country. I mean, there were serious unjust laws that uh, were, from the apartheid times that had been there. And, that were uncovered by yeah, that, that particular that, that, one. That the CC had to deal with. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, that had closed out a lot of people uh, with regard to their their. Mm. Legal battles. I mean, the issue of prescription was a big issue. Okay. Uh, because it tended to limit the rights of people to access courts. Mm. And it did for me in the high court. Take and us through that time so we understand yeah. exactly what what was the challenge for you yeah. in the in the in the prescription. Yeah. Break it down to us, because yeah. now you've become a mini lawyer. Yeah, well. yeah, well, I've become a mini lawyer. <laughs> but I think in layman terms, um what 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 we what we said 
to the CC mm. was that prescription laws as they stood at that time were were defined too broadly. Mm. So you could throw anything and everything in inside prescription, even if cricket club or not David yeah. next week. We can get a prescription if it's after three years. Yes. You know? <laughs> everything goes. <laughs> everything goes in Ooh. there. So so what we then had to do uh, uh we told the cc that this is unjust mm -hmm. uh, it favors other people and not other people especially yeah. the small men because in how it's defined too broadly mm. uh, everything goes into it yeah. and then limits rights of people so we we narrowed the definition how did it apply in, in your case specifically yeah. so in my case i mean basically the issue of debt mm. uh, because we had not finalized uh the entire negotiations with Vodacom with mm. regard to you know uh, my earnings and stuff they then said the entire thing prescribed oh you know, uh, yeah. and then we had to say to the concord no 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 prescription must be sounding in money mm -hmm. it must sound in money yeah so that definition came with the with the please call me case Jeez. We narrowed it had that. to be specific, specific. To, a, to, a, to a moment to a, to and a, a time to, a, to an amount of money yeah uh, that, you that can't was, just oh, say you can't just say uh, you know, uh, even talking, even engaging, no. suddenly subjected to prescription. And we did that. We changed law Jeez. in that regard. And then the other one was ostensible authority, mm. uh, wherein, I mean, you are required uh, to, I need to know uh, when I'm engaging with one of your people here, uh, that they actually have actual authority. Uh, to, to, to have to, this to conversation contract, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah with you so wow. so that also had to be dealt with and i mean it was kicked out by the cc that this thing does not make sense That's even the english don't understand it that was judge uh, after uh, uh, had to say so we then don't have that in our law so it's it's mm. it's there's a law that came things. from this. Is the law that came from the please call me case. So even if I don't give anything to anybody, that's that's <laughs> what I'm giving you. <laughs> You're giving the country. I'm giving you guys that. Those are the laws that you must use. And you couldn't have yeah. at all anticipated all of no, this. No, no, no. No, no, we couldn't have. We yeah. couldn't have. We thought we won at the at the at, at the, the, high, the court. high court, yeah. But I mean, we won the merits, you know, and then we lost on those two technicalities of law. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Has this, going back to that point I made, I said you've become a lawyer. Yeah. Has this taught you a lot about the law? No, no, a lot, a lot. I mean, I, I know now what motion courts are. <laughs> I know that what applications are. Yes. I know about, I mean, I, I can now outline to you the process that we are going to follow for the uh, so Supreme Court of Appeal. Yes. You know, uh, I know all these things. I know <laughs> petitioning, what does it mean or, and what are its consequences. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I've, I've, uh, I always say to, the senior counsels in my team that I've already served my articles. I just no, yeah, need yeah. To get the formal paper. In interesting. And become a lawyer. Interesting. Yeah. You could have you could have studied law. No, no, I could have. I could have. In the middle of yeah. all of this, just out just for the sake of it. You know, why get a Julia see why Skela? Yeah. Suddenly <laughs> you're a graduate yeah, with a yeah. law degree. Yeah. You could have done that. Has any thoughts like that crossed your mind at all? No, 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 not not really in terms of law. I mean, yes. I, I think it has crossed in yeah. my mind that I can maybe do an LLB or something like yes. that. Yes. Because you were around lawyers so much. Yeah, because I'm around lawyers so much. I mean, I've spent a like, better part of what, 13, 14 years yeah. now with lawyers. So, yeah, but it, it did cross my mind, but it's not something that I'm <laughs> going to pursue. I think I would like to be as far uh, as possible to courts after this journey. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe after that, uh, two, three years or four, I'll then come back. The only person I know, and I say this uh, very carefully, who doesn't seem to mind the courts is our former president. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think he's thrusted into it. I mean, giving his challenges, you know. Uh, sure, but it never I'm ends. I'm sure he also wishes that he can be away from courts, but because of what he needs to defend. You know, he uh, feels, you know, yeah. let's keep going. If, if we were to give him what he was requesting, uh, which was uh, barking, um, yeah. uh, barking, leave of... Leave uh, of appeal. Uh, no, yeah. it was substance. It was actually almost like cancelling his, oh, yes. his entire his case. His entire case, yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, you, can, can they all you, go away? If you give him that, I'm telling you, he will rest that in Ghana. You know? <laughs> quietly. No, quietly. He will do that. Because it's not, it's, it's not fun. Yeah, no, no, it can't be fun. I mean, it's not fun at all. I mean, it's not L fun. Looking at, at, at training your, stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Looking at your, your situation that it's dragged on for so long. Yeah. There's no part of it that you enjoy, I imagine. I enjoy affidavits and stuff like that, <laughs> especially when we are writing, but I don't enjoy the responses. Oh, of course. Because <laughs> the, the response never agrees with yeah, you. Yeah, they, they always never agree with <laughs> us. So, yeah, but when I know that we are on the pound, pound seat, then I'm happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, 
it's 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 been a good journey though i mean I, i like that you say that cuz interesting it's it, i would have asked that how do you in hindsight yeah when you look back cuz you still don't have the money yeah the, you know there's there's nothing here uh, if you were Uh, if your life was to end today you're the guy that almost got the money yes, <laughs> you yes, know what i mean yes, yeah. so so i hope my estate does anyway <laughs> no 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 of course of course but remember yeah. your 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 yeah. your life is 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 not necessarily your estate yeah, it's, 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 it's separate to yeah. that yeah. and that's why i interesting i was asked this question hori what happens uh, should something happen to him it's like no 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 the story continues mm. very little changes actually nothing really changes <laughs> yes. and i'm sure your lawyers were quick to say we need to get this sorted out yeah no no <laughs> nothing really changes yes. I mean, exactly I mean, that, that will that will um, carry on carry on beyond yes. me. yeah that's why i wanted to find out in hindsight when you look back the story continues and you saying it's been a good journey mm-hmm. It, it, do you do you hold on to that to that view no no i think i think it has been a good journey i i i don't i don't know uh, given the attitude on the other side or i would have had it differently i mean yeah. i tried and people will think that i'm a litigious person i'm not a litigious person mm, i don't mm. like courts <laughs> no. i don't like going to courts all the time <laughs> and i mean courts it was never really about courts i mean yeah. initially in 2007 i think uh, having left vodacom i think in 2003 went to net bank spend some time mm. then then approach them and said guys but i mean can we can we really resolve this thing amicably i can mean we just sit down and talk all this noise that that people are seeing today Jeez. you know without all these fanfare and stuff and legal yeah. fights and stuff like that i mean the approach was exactly that mm. yeah, that that can we i mean you know and it's it, i imagine they are the ones who no no they shut the door i mean i remember i got an email i mean i always resuscitate this thing that we are not prepared to meet you now or ever wow we will meet you in an appropriate level appropriate forum and that was where, where is that forum they probably regret what it is now that, forum? <laughs> probably regret you know, that was their legal head mr novel jordan who said who nee. those words to me yeah, yeah. and Or copying the ceo at that time mr allen not craig and all of them in that email i still have it is part of the court papers <laughs> but i mean yeah i mean that's that's i think what what Uh, what they say what broke the camel's back true you know it's a watershed moment uh, that then took me to this long journey of courts did you as you put it a watershed moment it's, it it defines a man yeah. you know you you say okay no that, that, all right. the, the resolve started there yeah yeah the resolve i think may have started even much earlier but that solidified it yeah and that, that told me that you know what there's no other option Uh, you need to find what they are what they term here appropriate level and appropriate forum mm-hmm. and the only place that was uh, it was going to be courts let's let, let's go back to the beginning of 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 the the idea it's a story you've told a thousand times mm, yeah. you know what you were going through the girlfriend and you needed to send a message yes yes take me to when you got employed by vodacom it's probably yeah. a moment they completely yeah. regret yeah. when you were employed by vodacom no no i'm sure they 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 enjoy that well of course they, they got money the summons of 2008 <laughs> but they enjoy <laughs> what everything happened yes. about <laughs> tell, tell take me to that moment where, the, the job to vodacom you were still a young boy very young yeah i mean i never went i never went to to university proper yeah i i joined vodacom from metric uh, i got a scholarship uh, to be trained as an account uh, as an accountant they had mm. to choose i think 10 all over the country and i was one of the chosen ones to buy vodacom uh, buy vodacom yeah. uh, two i think in gauteng and one other guy uh, whom i w- work with uh, from from soweto uh, mr mkoki Uh, yeah and and that's how really I get to Vodacom and I saw this when I was working at my uh, uncle's puzzle shop uh, when we still owned all our puzzle shops right? <laughs> so 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 and he still, very has, he still has still has it today yeah you know? so, so he still has his puzzle shop driving, yes. still driving yeah yeah so where was this kokatle uh, home yeah kokatle home got am gunupi section yeah um then yeah I, i i mean i used to buy papers every sunday i still do mm. Uh, I would buy Sunday Times and and we never had Sunday well that time it was too early <laughs> uh, I bought I bought City Press and I saw the article on City Press mm. an advertisement uh, invitation uh, soliciting these 10 uh, young uh, people young people to be trained as accountants wow. and then I jotted it down I sent a letter I wrote and and uh, the rest was history I mean they got back to me I went to an interview in Hatfield in 
uh, at the time um, in Pretoria. And mm. then, yeah, and then I... Which school did they did it take you to, or you were recruited into their system? How did no, that? I was into their system, yeah. uh, and then and then we were supposed to then enroll with UNISA mm. uh, and study for an accounting degree. Okay. Yes, uh, in an accounting. Yes, group. yes. Yeah. And so, did so. that happen? No, that happened. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That happened. I ended up getting my honors there and stuff like that. Jeez. Wrote my board exam. Did not make it. Don't ah. regret it. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and yeah. It's 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 interesting how. That tiny little moment that changed everything. Yes, yes. I mean, it's that 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 letter that I wrote from from the city press advert that I saw. Do Do you always look back at that moment as a because in life we always have the moments that yeah. that define the direction of your life. Does that moment matter to you? And 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 I say this because I like what what uh, what's his name Blackoff has been saying the past two mm. weeks or so that we need to cultivate dreaming in our lives mm. uh, and and we need to cultivate a life where we can we can dream of a better life for yeah. our, for ourselves as individuals yeah. what were you thinking of in your life at that time no at that time i mean obviously i wanted to break away from this puzzle shop yeah uh, i knew that uh, my parents uh, my mother was going to struggle uh, with with my fees because mm. i was already enrolled at vets um, and i was supposed to go there mm -hmm. And uh, and she was not going to that, that that was going to be tough because I mean there are other three siblings, um, and and she had carried me I mean through uh, two years of private education. Yeah. Uh, the only private education that I had was done at nine and, and 10, ten. Yeah. At Promet College uh, in Springs. And so, it, it was it was private but not not private yeah it was yeah. not yeah not not yeah. not not you not, know not the private no yeah, yeah. it was not, good enough yeah it was good enough yeah I mean, it, it was uh good enough from where we are uh, we were at mm, Alafang high school yeah. where, where i was so so yeah that also uh for me was a critical intervention in my life mm. i think probably the most important than than the advert that i got from Vodacom. true uh, for her that, to intervene at that point uh, go go Alafang High School when I was doing standard eight going to nine and saying no you need to go to Promet College and and, and go and, and 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 study there mm. to, to to finish up your 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 metric I think that was very pivotal you, 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 without that something yeah but what what informed that decision for what was going on uh, around you around yeah. your life Kukasi? yeah no no I think I think uh, because my siblings my you know I've got uncles and whatever mm. you know. My life is not such a cut and dry life. <laughs> you know, it's a bit uh, nuanced. In the family at the time, there was already a branching out of mm. uh, my elder brother, who I grew up with, Simon, had gone to Promet College. And then I think my this, the the daughter of my uncle, okay. older uncle. So there was already also that. Also got into to Promet. Also only for a limited time. Mm -hmm. And then my mother saw that as an opportunity. I mean, she's a teacher by yeah. profession. And then she saw that as an opportunity for me to then go there as well, you know, and, and just have a chance of, of making it in metric. At least uh, the then, last two years, the you last know? Two years. Yeah. That was, those were tough two years. I know. <laughs> tough two years for me. I mean, I mean, yeah. They were tough because, yeah, I had to catch up the gap that had been established by so by, by by township school by township schooling. I mean, yeah. from standard six. I mean, I remember when I was doing mathematics, I had to be taken to a standard six textbook while others were flying high. Wait in a class. minute! And this, here and, you were and, doing standard yeah, nine by, by Mrs. Manson, uh, yeah. who said to me, "I needed to." To, to to be managed as a project within that class yes, yes. and i put in a lot of work uh, how, how did that that make you feel as you're walking into an environment where it's pretty obvious that everybody else is ahead of you no i mean uh, for me for me i'm a fighter i've always been yeah. uh, and when i got in there i didn't like brains mm. uh, i i I I was I was not do, doing too bad at Alafan, so I still came up with the yes. arrogance <laughs> that you know I can you know I can do my thing. Yeah. But I mean, I realized when I got there that the gap was was way too too much, Jeez. and and I had to humble myself, and I don't have a difficulty in doing that as mm. well. So I I sat on this other lane that she put me, and and I and I knuckled down. I really and, knuckled and down. I you know it's 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 difficult to be a, a young young people have it tough mm. because. Other young people don't have a filter. 
Yes. They will ridicule you and yeah. and so forth. Yeah. They, that's what they do. That's what young people do. Yeah. Some people say it builds character. Yeah. And some people say it's it it makes you weaker yeah. the older yeah. you get yeah. because now you have these scars. Yeah. But you seem to have managed No, no, no. Well. I think I think uh, socially I was also a likable guy. I mean, yes. I I got along with people. People mm. never really battled with being friends with me. Yeah. So and I, vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah. So to to be friends with them as well. So I got a lot of support i mean for me at that time really i never really got yeah, that yeah it may Go have wap, happened wap, far wap. away from me but not in <laughs> my face because uh, i still loved people i could get along with people i was yeah. very street wise yes and Garcia taught me very well to to gel yeah and and then i i i dealt with my problems i mean mm. uh, by Scale the end of that, yeah, no i had to i had to my mother was putting uh, some some chunk of money in that yeah. And I knew that this is make it or break it. I mm. mean, I can't, I can't mess this. No, you up. can't. And this is two years, and that's it. You know, it has to finish. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. I mean, came out of that with them with my metric exemption, uh, out of from at college, and then I could qualify to go to varsity, and yes. that's where that's how I. That's how vets get, became an option. Yeah, that's how vets became an option. Yeah. That's how I get to writing a letter and being accepted. What What did you uh, apply for at vets? Um I was going to do accounting still okay. because yeah. my background was still accounting even yeah. at uh, uh, um at this thing yeah at promet uh, promet yeah. uh, yeah. uh, even high school the the whole of high school because yeah. of the influence of, of my elder uncles and stuff like okay. that also doing accounting so I then gravitated towards that yeah yeah Do you know you you speak a lot about your mom almost nothing about your dad yeah. so I will go back to from from uh, Hebron Yeah, yeah. Uh, they move your mother because yeah. you speak about her. Yes, yes. Uh, where got the who? Yeah. Tell me her setup when 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 she was there. I'm sure it's stories that you've heard. W- when she when she moved from 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 uh, from Kwats, Kwatswa, Yeah, go ahead, Brown, to, Brown come to, to come to to to, 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 to Yeah, I mean they they moved as a family. Okay. Uh, because my my granddad uh, got work mm. uh, to to come and and work at Max Steel, I think. Okay. It doesn't even make till actually he came to uh, <laughs> to work at some farms. Uh, oh, really? You know, yeah, yeah. In the in parts of the East End, mm, what mm. was called Els Park. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. later then got uh, work at Max Steel, but that was later on. Uh, so so he came because also some of uh, the other family members had moved to Katle Home. Mm, we all and, and they, then, they tend to do that. And my grandmother's family was. Entrenched Kokatle Hong. Jeez. So so the wife pulled her mm. uh, to come to Kokatle Hong. <laughs> yeah, and the brothers were not happy the other side. But I think it was also the best move. Yeah. That got us into Kokatle Hong in the first place. Are you making? Yeah, yeah. Well, are you making? Yeah. So 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 then my my granddad got here, um, and that's that's really my father. I mean, if you mm. if you look at it, because I'm raised uh, uh, by my maternal. Grandparents. Ah, okay. I was left to them uh, as a an infant. Mm. Uh, go Els Park. When you say left to them, where did you where did your mom go? So yeah, my my went my mom went to to college. Go yes. to go 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 to here. Okay. To go and become a teacher. Yeah. And then I had to then to be raised by 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 yeah. my uh, granddad. Yeah. yeah. My mother and my father actually. Essentially. I don't call them granddad. Give yeah. me that daughter. So. Are they still around? No, no, no. Uh, deceased now. Um, uh, I think granddad died in 2010. Okay. Just after the World in Cup. A while, yeah. So the World Cup. <laughs> Or at least. And then and then my mother can't even remember. It's years after that. Almost 10 years after. Yes, that. Yes, yes. I like how you you still refer to them as my mother and my. Yes, yes. Those are those are my my parents. Really. Yeah. Proper. Yeah. Because uh, I I read uh, Gontong um, uh, instant metric. The book that I did was Maru. Yes, uh, yes. Interesting. Uh, I didn't do Maru, but I know Maru. I know about you know it because yeah. so many AC people head. have made reference to it. AC head. Yeah. Uh, she says the uh, hereditary. I mean, environment, everything, heredity, nothing. Absolutely. So, so, so for me, I mean, that defines. It's the environment really mm. that, I, that I grew up in and who raised me and really, yeah. uh, you know. What stands out? What stands out about that for you? Because they say young parents must never raise kids because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, if you can and you have the opportunity to to give your kids to your grandparents, yeah, yeah. to your parents, yeah. who are grandparents to the children, they are likely to turn out not so bad. Yeah. What, what, what is it about it that, that you make reference to in that setup? 
that yeah. that you say it contributed a lot to my personality i think they loved me so much i mean mm. as as basically the last born of that house yeah. i tend to be the last born of that house in the makate family um uh, my 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 uh, my granddad i mean my father uh, mm. loved me so much um and and i always looked up to him i mean yeah. he 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 really was a a model mm. uh, you know parent that i look up to i imbibe so much from him yeah and how he was so independent how he worked so hard how he made sure that we never never uh, you know uh, uh, slept hungry or even thought whether mm. a meal was going to come or not Jeez. come you know it was that was foreign to me i cannot come here and say Hey, hey, nining, nerasatsi buri jo itlosha hakai and stuff like that. Yes. He was a proud man, a proud man who always owned his tools. Yeah. You know, he he always prided himself in owning his things. Wow. You know, having his own tools. Mm. You know, even and, go and, and alo karima hamore and stuff like that. He was not that kind of person. Wow. I'd rather have you my know, own. No, no, he always had his stuff. You know, Jeez. and and that I mean, and then you have my my mother, my grandmother. I mean, also. A stand stand woman mm. i mean i mean she would always tell me stories how she worked go the kitchen in and yeah. and and uh, my mother is not my mother because she's the real mother <laughs> uh, because uh, i was on her back all the time uh, when she went to work and then she will put me down in those uh, whites uh, yeah, so, uh -huh. and then clean 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 and then took me back again wow. i mean that that for her defined that this is this is my child is not your child mm -mm. you know because i raised this child this yes. is my child and and then that's how really they they become my parent that's what environment does for me yeah uh, a done heredity you know and then my mother will then uh, biological intervene there, 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 there and there, and there <laughs> support uh, there and there well, how know? long was that Uh, that that obvious uh, absence so to speak yeah your mom or maybe i should reverse it that obvious presence yeah your your grandparents no my pre presence was all the time yeah. remember i lived with them i grew up there i and i your woke entire... up there my entire year <laughs> my entire life i mean i went to school with them yeah i went to high school uh, still stay, staying with them even when i was at promet college i would return to my section go 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 high and mm. my, my mother was not far away she was uh, go ramkunupi yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, she also got uh, married because I mean she never really married to my biological father. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so so yeah. I mean, but the, the grandparents really gave me, I think, the best childhood that I could ever have. Amazing. Uh, I was raised by my grand yeah. mom until I was probably ten, eleven, mm. actually eleven. Mm. I remember, and, and it's a sad story how I remember. Mm. The last time, the only time I ever got drunk in my life, I was eleven. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I remember because yeah. uh, she thought I was sick. <laughs> and, and I was taken to a hospital, yes. and the doctor said, "No, nah, he's not sick. It was like a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's how I remember. She's okay. the one that recommended that. Yeah, you were and dehydrated. I, I was dehydrated, <laughs> and that was the last. I think that was her last uh, last year uh, in, uh, on earth. And and it's uh, interesting how 11 years of my life. Yeah, you were uh, with your crayon. I yeah. was. Uh, you know, my mom was around, but the only reference to a. Uh, a love that 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 mm. is that easy mm. and that mm. genuine mm. was from my grandma, grandma. she used to uh uh in the in the evening yes. because it was too cold <laughs> in the morning yeah yeah <laughs> yes. yeah. Or, no, no, no. They, yeah in the morning just wipe yeah just wipe your face and <laughs> then go to school, go to yeah. school. Yeah. yeah so i guess it's those type of things yeah. that really that you refer to in this no regard. no definitely definitely i mean i i uh, she taught me so much i mean uh because i've always been a reflective child a child mm. who takes time on by himself and yeah and then sometimes they misinterpreted that as hey, because i don't feel hard because really? I, you know but but <laughs> i mean it was just me drifting away and then i, I you know uh, most of the time but but uh, the love that i got i mean from both of them mm. uh, was was something that you know i i cannot really describe i mean it, it felt real Yeah. Uh, there were no doubts. Mm. So I never had this empty thing that I and I think my mother left me also with them knowing who they are mm. and then how I'll be raised. And 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 they loved me completely. Jeez. I mean 
Uh, my father, I mean, when I was started at Vodacom and working, he would wake me up because <laughs> he would wake me up at three o'clock in the morning. I'll study and then study for three hours until six o'clock. Wow. Leave, go Get and catch my pace. taxi, go to work, come back. So then I will, he will always say, you must sleep early. After you watch, watch news, then mm. I must sleep. So I'm you're able to wake up? Wake up again, you know. Uh, so so that's how we engaged and that's, that's how amazing. our life was. Yeah. Um, and for a better part of it. For a better part of it. I mean, for my entire life until mm -hmm. they, they passed on then my grand as well was a was a hard woman i mean yeah. uh, i started selling uh this thing she was a seller she liked okay later on when she wasn't going to that work and she was now home based mm -hmm. she still wanted to make money <laughs> all those things yeah. she always tried something yeah then then i will go and sell these things <laughs> oh, collect the new. yeah oh, collect the new. Yes. then 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 it was vegetables then i'll as she taught me that then i'll go from house to house after school i'll come back from primary and then i'll go selling these things Jeez. before going and playing soccer <laughs> so i'll make sure that now i had my clients you know mm, i knew mm. where to drop my stuff and collect money it's amazing you know, i could drop drop and this is all money. grand's work that's yeah. grand's work you know <laughs> uh, but also because i was such a reliable kid mm. i mean she will always save uh, her money with me because i had this thing of keeping mm. uh, you know no, you know it's safe with yeah, you it's safe with me <laughs> because she knew that even after seven months because she will always misplace things. She will say, hey, Kosana, where is Ikai <laughs> Chelti Eli? You know, then I'll, I'll just simply produce well, it. here it is. And I've tended to then take that role, you know, uh, into my current life, you know. and What has made you interested in accounting as a career option? Besides, uh, the, you said the influence from other family members, yeah. but clearly there must have been something you felt inside of you. Uh, no, not really, you know. I, I think it was because of my elder, uh, my uncle. I mean, yeah. my uncle said to me, I don't think I'm an accountant, by the way, but mm. you know, I just happened to bump into it. <laughs> my uncle was doing it and told me about this other teacher who was teaching accounting very well and, you know, and made him understand accounting and stuff like that. When mm. I get to high school, I must also try and choose it. There you go. And uh, it's really how I get into accounting. Nothing other than that. No, nothing other than that. Then, then I'm in it. Uh, but I've also found that my interests are much more broader mm. than accounting. I'm, I'm, I'm much more diverse than that. I think I could have survived in many professions. What else? What else mattered? Or, I mean, or you look back and say, "Hey, I, I could mean, have." I mean, I've I've delved now. Uh, although I have not finished, I mean, I had very serious interest in psychology and, and okay. philosophy. Okay. Uh, studies. I I I I was reading the other day stuff stuff about nature, stuff about the world that we live in and what makes it ticks and what makes things yeah. what they are. Wow. For me, it's very, very, you know, yeah. uh, interesting. I mean, things like biocentrism, yeah, stuff that, like that, hey. quantum <laughs> mechanics, quantum Love physics, that stuff. you know, all Love quantum stuff. mechanics. All these things, uh, yeah. uh, to me, uh, I have a keen interest of. Yeah. I mean, because they, I think they, they, they take you much more deeper into understanding the world that we, inhabit the, the reason i i, I love uh, professors yeah. and people like that because they spend their time trying to understand us yes. and understand us and the world and yes. how we interact with each other or yes. interact with the world yes, yes. And, and that's why one of my some of my favorite conversations are with with the professors because you get to yes yes you get it, to go deeper into absolutely kind of and you spend yeah. time with people who they do nothing else with their lives yeah but trying to understand trying things. to understand and <laughs> contemplate and yes. yeah yeah is, is that where you probably look at your life one day, someday, where you'll just resort yeah. into nothing else, but let me try to understand the world. Yeah, no, no. I think, I think, I think I, I, I'm not doing that much. Uh, and I think I will, I will most likely like that. When I'm depressed, when I don't know what to do, that's yeah. what I go to. <laughs> and that's what really motivates me. Wow. You know, that what really gets me into making other things more easier for me you mm, know uh, the mm. patterns of fighting legal battles and stuff like that when i drift yeah. i drift into biocentricism <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and other things and studies about consciousness and stuff wow. like that you know so those are, are are my other you know interests mm, and, mm. And, and things that that really uh, gets my mind working you, Do you know? know there's a point you made and i realized my, my mind keeps going back to it mm. when you said some of the family members you say hey Kosana is at the fail art. <laughs> How did they interpret that? What yeah. what exactly were you doing that yeah. would get people to conclude that way? I think I think probably uh, uh, growing up, I mean, trying to make sense. Maybe maybe these things that I'm I'm now 
finding refuge in, like reading about these things that make the world tick and, mm. whatever and stuff like that. Maybe when I stepped back and, and started reflecting and not being responsive to other things, <laughs> they thought, oh, hey, wano, kare, who did he mean? Who did he mean? Who did he mean? Who did he mean? So, so, so then, uh, you know, uh, They they thought probably no 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 this reflective type is not the good type. But, But be I, careful of the quiet ones. Yeah, be f- careful of the quiet ones. I mean, even in Julius Caesar, that's this it. Ligarius guy. There you go. Uh, but you know, he doesn't talk a lot and whatever. And and, yeah. and those those types are. You different. must watch him. Yeah, you watch him. <laughs> watch him. So you were so, that kid. So so I, I was that kid. I mean, and and I think it's not a bad place to be in. Yeah. You know, it's not really a bad place. I would like to do that much more. Mm-hmm. And I'm not doing that much more. I think, I, I think, and and that space I like, that space I inhabit a lot. Yeah. Uh, I I come to Twitter, tweet this, and then go back. Walk away. You know, walk away because <laughs> I can't live there forever. You know, I'm, Nobody I'm a person, should live I'm, there I'm forever. a person who likes to step back yeah. and, and reflect on, on, on why, why things are, you know. What preoccupies you the most lately? Because there's always different things that, I like the question you you asked, reflect on how thing why things are. Yeah, person like that will question a lot of things on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. what seems to to be you know going around in your mind in in these days where we live in now? Yeah, I, th- I think for me, human behavior in general. I yeah. mean, uh, why things, why people do things that they do, what motivates them. And, and and I'm quite intrigued about what we control and what's not controlled by us. <laughs> you know, uh, what 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 part is nature? What part is us that yeah. we do? That that for me is 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 a critical and nice question. It's, I think I think it's a big question. What have you found and, out? I think we are in control much more than we think we mm. are. I think we are in control of many things. We shape the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, we shape the world in in many ways uh, yeah. and and beyond what we think because. We we tend to think sometimes that things are thrusted onto us, but we actually do shape things. Yeah, you know, we shape uh, consensus uh, in this world. Is it a collectively or individually? I think or- I, I think ultimately uh, collectively, but individually we participate. Uh, I mean, uh, y- if I make an example, I mean, with 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 my case, um, the length of time that I've fought the corporate, mm. uh, like Vodacom, uh, hadn't been done before. You know, no, not in this country. Before, not in this country. Yeah. And and that because of the actions and the collective actions that we've done with my legal team and staff uh, brings a new consensus. That's true. You know, a consensus that, you know, it's, it's possible it can be done. Um, and maybe what that's what uh, uh, Matiwa was talking about when he was talking about, you know, if, uh, uh, what is that saying? I can't remember now. To, to spark it down. Uh, until, until it's, uh, oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, always yeah. seems impossible. It's always absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. That's, that's the kind of consensus mm. that, that we achieve. But I mean, I'm not doing it alone. I'm also no, doing course. it with the opponents yes. that have pushed me this far. Yeah. You know, so, so we, we, we shape that. And that then becomes a template for other people to then take forward. Yeah. And then it becomes a new consensus. It's interesting so, you say that yeah. as a Pirates fan because <laughs> you have different results there. Yeah. Let's leave that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> we need to shape yeah. their thinking as well. Yeah, no, no, I'll always go back to that uh, double treble. Yes. That oh, they, uh, they know that there's a consensus there. <laughs> we must repeat that consensus. It's been struggling yeah. to, to repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes must get to double treble before they talk to us. <laughs> it's interesting how The, the collectiveness of of humanity mm. it seems to be because we don't have the, the best results now as humans yeah. in a lot of spaces, a lot of spaces yeah. yeah we have more hungry people we have more uh, we have there's gbv and everything that yeah. comes with it yeah. you know uh, there's instability in our in our in our psychology as humans mm. uh, there's uncertainty mm. uh, now we're dealing with so many suicides that happen all yes. around us we are, this is not a good report no, card no, if we were to get a report card this is a big f yeah. And 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 it's a bad consensus. It's terrible. That's what I wanted to get bad to. Uh, what are we? What have we done collectively and individually as humans to end up with such a bad result? Such a bad result. <laughs> I think. I think something is something wrong is happening at an atomic level, subatomic level. Oh, it's happened. You know, it's happened. And, yeah. And, and and people. I mean, obviously, and people that. I mean, let's talk about suicide, for instance. I mean. There, there must have been a template. Yeah, I mean, when people yeah. have now associated this with depression and when you're depressed and whatever, it becomes an option. But before that template is, cons- is done, before that consensus is reached, no one does that. 
No one does that. Do we do we even have a consensus? Or maybe we do but it's the wrong yeah, It's a wrong consensus. I mean yeah. the consensus is always there. <laughs> it's at always any given there. time. At any given time yeah. the consensus is always there because we are acting. We never cease acting. Yeah. You know and this well stop uh, uh, I mean well it doesn't stop moving that's it's always true. moving so the concern is always created it's either can be bad or, or, or good mm. but i mean it's always there it's always been created so mm. yeah so we we're not we're not agreeing very well right now <laughs> but what what are what are some of our biggest flaws based on on your your observation as humans there there's grand theories that 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 we follow of course mm. and that tends to take us into certain directions i mean i i read this quotation i think it makes sense i then shared it with a friend i think they shared it also on because i tend to share in private space and people <laughs> share in public i mean it was talking about the monkey that will then uh, accumulate all the bananas mm. uh, in the in the in the bush mm. uh, if there was such a monkey it uh, accumulates and it doesn't eat them all it eats one but it carries all these other ones and you know and keeps on collecting and eating one uh scientists would come and say no, no but that's a there's something wrong with this monkey but we never say that yeah people are accumulating a lot of wealth interesting accumulating for the sake of accumulating just so they can so that they can have it and yeah. and, and, and eat one because and, 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 they can only eat one yeah they can only eat one <laughs> yeah. they never eat that in their lifetimes yeah so they can only eat one but we never say there's something wrong with that human animal interesting you know, you know the, the, the danish in the, uh, in denmark they never talk about money yeah they never talk about my money or your money yeah they find that conversation not necessary yeah or not important yes and they frown upon it mm. uh, and when you are they are either they are not too rich or too poor mm. just mm. okay just, yeah okay yeah if you're too rich That yeah. very point you just made, yes. you think there's something wrong with yes, you. Yes, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the so grand theory, the grand theory that leads capitalism and how the world well functions now actually says that you are a super thing. We must uh, celebrate you. Must run after you. I mean, Elon is trying to buy Twitter now. I mean, we must all he's on it. <laughs> I mean, his his tweets like are like 200k likes. Yeah, you know, uh, he's, because, well, his his yeah. his his uh, followers are 80 yeah, something I, million. You know, uh, yeah. stuff like that. So so that 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 is the that is the consensus that is the that's what that's, that's what where we want. are yeah, that's where we are you know that's where we are but it, it it it's clearly not working yeah it's still not working i mean you look at some of the things with regard uh, to climate change and stuff like that i mean that there's another consensus you know uh, there is these other effects that people are talking about but i mean given few are talking about yeah few are talking about but i mean given capitalism and its nature what drives it and where da you always bend something yeah or whether you can be able to then take people into this caring consensus Ooh. it's a huge 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 uh, so so mind mind shift you know i worked with a client uh, national credit regulator one of the biggest challenges is their job is to tell people <laughs> spend wisely yeah and if you're going to spend if you're going to borrow borrow smartly mm -hmm. and i remember one of the challenges we had was changing mindset yes It's clearly a hard thing to do. Mm. If if collectively we agree that we should all drive fancy cars, mm. it's irrespective of our affordability. Yes. We will just yeah. want to drive yeah. fancy, cars. fancy cars. That's the yeah. story. Who go crook? And it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, yeah. interesting you use the word crook because yeah. we end up stealing. Yes, yeah, end up stealing. Exactly. Yeah. So so I it, it doesn't look like something that's repairable. Yeah, it's 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 I don't know what it will take, but I mean um I I hope something at subatomic as well. Yes. You know, at string level almost. It's it's happening and that will that will maybe the climate change uh, issue becomes I think humans will only change when we all are sinking. Yeah. I mean the day we we realize that we'll then say that you know what? Mm. This is the time. A conversation with God. Yeah. <laughs> Whether this is true or not. Yeah. It says uh, I get more more prayer when people are in trouble, in trouble. <laughs> than when they're okay <laughs> when they're okay you yes. know you know maybe maybe that's where we need to get to where we see that will obliterate yeah and and self uh, you know um uh, basically and self correct uh, correct yeah. you know uh, when there's only two options probably and i think that's where probably the country also needs to get to at some point we have a beautiful country that needs to yeah you know, you know. we can't have the most unequal country in the world and Jeez. and things are normal i mean it doesn't mean we sense. can see the effects now 
Uh, why? Why? KZN exposes KZN it. Is, COVID exposed it. Exposed uh, it. You know, the unrest exposed I it. Mean, the, the cable theft exposes it. Everything, you know, exposes that, the that, same thing. Same thing that we're gravitating towards. I mean, Jeez. yeah. Are you a proud South African? I love this country. I'll always love it. What about it matters to you so much? I think I think because you know, as humans, obviously the crown that I uh, in Zulu because uh, I'm also. <laughs> I'm, I'm born Zulu. Yeah. Uh, ah. uh, you know, so, so I'm a Zulu. The ground where my umbilical cord gets buried uh, has a very serious connection with me. Mm-hmm. And so I'm also always connected also to the East Rain because that's where my umbilical cord is. And I think, you know, that, that, it's something that one cannot detach. You see it when you travel overseas, when you're overseas, and the longing that you get uh, to go back to this abusive, <laughs> sometimes, uh, environment <laughs> that you get to, you know. Uh, so so you always return. I'm, I love this country. I love its people. I love its culture. Yeah. Uh, and I love us all. And I think, I think we have potential to be something very great. Uh, if we were, I mean, what the party took from us is using the collective intellect and talent of the entire nation yeah. that's what it did and and try to confine it which is a, which is unnatural by the way i mean to try and confine uh, uh intellect and talent mm. into a a a a, a group of yeah of people, and a tiny little a group. tiny little yeah, group i mean that true. was the biggest travesty Jeez. that could happen to this country but i mean if we were to break that and truly now, and now it's separated by money. I mean, now Ooh. the money that are the most talented, it looks <laughs> like, you know, and, yes. and, and that is also untrue. Yeah. Because because talent and intellect. It doesn't select it doesn't the size select, of your wallet. It eh? doesn't select. Yeah. You know, uh, it, 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 it's like rain. When it rains, it rains for us all. Mm-hmm. You know, but suddenly we think that intellect has to now choose certain people and stuff like that. Jeez. It doesn't work like that. If we were to use that collective effort of the entire country its yeah. intellect and its talent i think this country can achieve things that have never been seen before do, do you think that uh, south africans are aware of 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 the deep rooted greatness that we have because because i walk around feeling that yeah. way uh, that there's something this you know and you know yeah, there's something yeah. good about there's us there's something good about us <laughs> <laughs> good about us but yeah. i don't know man yeah. yeah you know do you think south africans are aware of this this thing that we got that you can't quite put a finger I, I, on? i think they are i mean if you look at a lot of south africans also if we now follow grand theory uh, yeah. what what people consider to be i mean your your elons are from south africa that's it you know chris barnard uh, did his first operation is from south africa, africa. I mean, we have so many. Not true. I, flip, uh, I can. I can uh, keep going. You know, you can <laughs> keep going of of all the talents that we have. So that tells you that that we are probably, as as science has proven, the cradle of of this whole thing. You know, uh, so so there must be something special about us. Yeah. As South Africans, you know, uh, we've done so 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 well. I mean, there's there's many things that are good about us. I guess the worst thing that could ever happen about greatness is. One, not being aware that you have aware. it. Two, and not using it. Not using it, you know. And I think now it's both. I mean, it's also awareness and using it. Yeah. But until we collapse, uh, collapse certain things and then make sure that we can tap into this entire talent, until we realize that, that that can actually take us somewhere as a country, yeah. I don't think we'll go anywhere. What do you think almost immediately needs to be collapsed about, about the nature of our collective thinking as South Africans? You know, it's, 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 it's in essence the very same thing I'm talking about, that, that you, you somehow think that it's correct mm. that you can confine uh, where you plow investment and, and, and all your resources into a tiny few. And you think that's and a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, I mean, even for those who have it, even for, for our, our farmers and stuff like that, uh, for, for their children and grandchildren, uh, firstly, they will end up without a market uh, in future because pe- oh, and only thieves. That's it. Because the, ma- the market will always them. be there, yeah. but then they can't afford they your can't product. Afford your product. So, 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 what you need is to truly and truly spread this thing and make sure that we can all move in one direction. It doesn't matter who become successful at the end of the day, because people are seems fixated about. Uh, because I was asked one question at uh, this thing, and I really was very angry, and I frown on it all the time. Yeah. 
Uh, people were telling me, "Hore, uh, but now because I can't remember the title of it, I open high man. Yeah, my man. Because but I mean, why does that matter? matter. Why yes. does it matter? That's it. Why must that matter? Mm, like you know the the measurement. Yes. Why is that? Yes, why is that an yes. issue? You know why is that an issue? Yeah. Where do you think we got that? Because clearly we have it. We have this, 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 it, and I, I like using your phrasing of yeah. the, the, you know, the collective thinking that yeah. that says the guy with the with the latest this is the yeah. cool guy. Yeah. The guy with the you know the, the biggest house is the cool guy, and so forth and so forth yeah. and so forth. And those are measurements. Social yeah. media proves that yeah, all, proves the time. That all the yeah. time. Yeah, surely we have it somewhere. And I like the Danish when they say, <laughs> "Well, yeah. we don't want to know about your money." <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. actually, we'd rather not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So clearly we have this. Yeah. yeah, and 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 in many people who've sat on that chair more often than not it traces back to uh, apartheid and so forth yeah. what is your your general observation of of our state of mind as south africans because i worry about us snapping out of it and i wish one morning we'll snap out of it i think i think i mean it's it's obviously theories and 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 observers across the world i mean that shape who we are mm. i mean that shape culture that shape and most of it is it's american there's a bit of chinese now that's creeping in mm-hmm. which is not a bad thing that we diverse this thing yeah. and look at different <laughs> you know models i think it's it's those observers and collective observers that shape uh these these supposedly uh to be pursued narratives to be pursued standards Uh, they are they are responsible for it, and unfortunately, we then get co-opted. We just follow <laughs> into it. We just follow into <laughs> it. You know, we never really branch out and say, "But is it really? You know, is it really that?" And we know? don't pause to question. Yeah, we don't pause to question. And I mean, at a, at the heart of it, I mean, it's also lack of knowledge. I mean, if we were to truly get to the basis of of knowledge, and and what knowledge is, and what it can do. Uh, would probably discount a lot of things that we see. No, no, this is you know, this, this is, is not. No, this is not it. I mean, because what we see all the time, it's it's the end product. It's it's you know, but people never uh, bring us in mm. into exactly what made the process. them tick. You yeah, know, the process and stuff like that. Jeez. They hide the formula and they give you the, <laughs> the output, and suddenly like, you can't go back. You it's know, like KFC's yeah, uh, yeah. KFC's uh, recipe. The recipe. <laughs> We know, don't Coca-Cola, know. Coca-Cola. Yes. You know, uh, that's what sustains them, and and, and it's the most uh, soul beverage. Of it, secrecy eh? of it, you know, um, and and that I think people have used it then to propel themselves, but also they are pursuing. Uh, to be the best, to be the most worshipped, to be the most course, whatever. Of course, that's the reason that they are hiding this recipe. But what if uh, uh, you get people into a recipe, and then there's other recipes that collectively then improves Imagine us? Imagine that. Lot. Imagine that. Interesting. Uh, you know. uh, we, the news that came out earlier this week as a result of uh, KZN as uh, what you call it floods, where uh, lace and Simba chips are likely to be to drop in. Um, in availability at shops because yes, the factory has been affected by the okay. floods and there's the slowdown in their production. And it's in Durban. In Durban, yes. Okay. And I mean, he said, maybe we need to reimagine this for yeah. a second. Mm. Instead of waiting, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe we should be creating our own, <laughs> our, our, own, own lace. our own lace while our own we're waiting. Lace. Yeah, while we're waiting. <laughs> and, yeah. and as soon as the there's lace appears, it's like, I like mine more. Yes, yes. <laughs> and yes. we carry on with our yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are moments where, and I think you said it earlier, where yeah. humanity it, it, it will be pushed to the limit to a yeah. point where they'll make decisions M- make decisions yes. forced to make decisions yeah. we seem to be wanting i mean to be forced i mean It, you see like after wars then things change things change you know putin is busy there i'm sure things will of change of course of course you know so so yeah, yeah i mean they reshape and and, and bring new ways of how we we proceed i must tell you uh, yeah. of all things i thought we'll talk about i think we'll decode humanity <laughs> 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 I don't think we'll break down humanity yeah, into yeah. tiny pieces. Into tiny pieces. Yes, no, you know? Consciousness is one of my likes. It's the yeah. that I, I I I like the the very subject of it. Yeah. You know? That's amazing. I want to talk about the Zulu side of your of your of your people. Yes. Who and who are these people? Uh they are in Tlapos. I mean they come uh from um they also resided obviously Cosprate uh, uh Katlehong. Yeah. Uh, but they come from the Natal side. Uh, uh, that's where they emanate from. They mm, settled mm. also in the east end. Uh, yeah, are these the dead side of the Ntlapus? Yeah, yeah, my biological dead. Yeah, Ntlapus. Yeah, those those are 
uh, are my paternal biological uh, parents, which I, 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 I never really grew up with them, but I'm not, I, I, I've reconnected with them as mm. well, you mm. know. Uh, Is it something that happened recently? Well, I mean, it's, I buried my father in 1993. Okay, so it's quite a while. Yeah, it's yeah. quite a while. So, yeah. so, and gradually, I mean, we've gotten closer and closer. Mm. But mm. obviously, I mean, in my early years, I mean, there was always a tiff. Yeah. And, and a blockage uh, of some sort uh, at that time. <laughs> were you ever told what the issues were? No, 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 I don't know what the, I knew, I didn't know what the issues were, but later I would learn, I mean, that, you know, family, you know, yeah. be, these people were neighbors, I mean. Really? So, 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 <laughs> go they, were, they were neighbors, no, go Ells Park. Well, okay, uh, yes, yes, they moved to before they home, yes. it was go Ells Park. Uh, <laughs> also, it's very close to Katlehong, Ells Park. Mm. I mean, that's where they buried Krisani. Oh, yes, yes. Around yes, that, that, yeah. that, that point. Okay. That's where I'm born. That's ah, where, yeah. Uh, but I was born in Gunatal Spirit Hospital, but mm. that's where I'm probably conceived. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in that, in those In grounds, that neighborhood, yeah. That neighborhood. So, there were neighbors and whatever... Hey, you know. supposed to marry never married oh, these teenagers wow. and whatever and stuff like so that so they were quite young yeah they were quite young I'm yeah. sure 18, 19 jeez uh, <laughs> yeah age 20 but oh, you know young at that time is not young no of course yeah, they mature things have changed yeah, there, were, there were different young people than mm, young people mm. that you see today no, of course 20 year olds are very young today too young those were <laughs> were, were young people you know strong people uh, yeah and, and yeah and then they did not marry, and then my mother then left me with my grandparents, which was the best decision that she could ever make. Jeez. And then, and, and what brings me uh, to be the person that I am, because that environment then begins to shape me. Uh -huh. It really shapes me uh, into into the Ngosana that that people know today. So you you you. T technically a single child in the house yes i'm a single child i do have siblings on my I, that's why my, i say technically on my maternal side technically I'm, 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 I'm yeah. the only child the only child in the house the only child of that combination that's it and then my father then never had other children after mm. Me. Mm. so so it's but, only but my mother who had children did he, did he have other kids before you no not of course before me. he was too young yeah, anyway yeah. yes no, no, it was before yeah. me. you know there was nothing before me and nothing after me on his side on his side but then i do have other siblings my half siblings yeah yeah whom i get along with very very well you had a relationship i imagine with your dad not really i mean he would come and fetch me i remember only once and uh, i went uh Kobona and because it was go hang Kakirong, then i hanged out uh, the following day Went back to my grands, you know, because... <laughs> was it you or or it was just a setup? No, I think probably just, just a setup. You know, I like my comforts. I like my space. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a person who who prefers my own space. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, and my environment, that... Yeah, my homely environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's obvious. That's why I say environment. I identify what Basie had when she says environment, everything. Everything. Heredity, nothing. True. So, so obviously there was no... Like, there was co a connection that was like, lacking there. Then I went back and that did not make them so happy. <laughs> uh, that I did not finish my stay you know, uh, there. Jeez. But I mean, I go there now uh, as an adult, uh, once in a while, go yeah. to visit my aunts and stuff. And now, obviously, you know, you've built a relationship with, yes, the, yes. with the rest of the, yes, of the, of yes. the family. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. With the, with the uncle on the other side, Tumsani and uh, my aunts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we get along. And you say your relationship with your with your siblings is also a decent. No, one. no, my it's a decent one. It's a very yeah. good. It's normal siblings relationship. So, so it's a very complicated. I've got these other siblings. They are my siblings, but I've got my uncles who are also my brothers, and I'm their last born in the house. Oh, hell. So, so you know, <laughs> yeah. And my mother is OC. You know. You know uh, why? Yeah. Because yeah. your mom had you when she was young when she was yeah that normally yeah, happens yeah. your uncles yeah. are around uh, the same age as around you. the same age as no as uh, they are older than her some of them yes. there's about eight children oh in that. yeah so it's it's really older people that are actually <laughs> my houses yes and yes. my 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 brothers whom i get along with very well as well it sounds know? like a big family setup yeah no it's a big family there's setup. a lot I mean, of people yeah there's a lot of people you know then obviously there'll be cousins all over the show but i mean those are my immediate, uh, my grandmother's children, mm. eight of them, are my brothers because I am their last born in that True. house. True, yeah. Uh, and then I have my 
siblings who are younger than me <laughs> <laughs> who are also you know my brothers and sisters Kamu. Uh, on, the, on my mother's side then i don't have anything biologically from my father's side yes. because he never had children after yeah, me yeah yeah uh, and before me so yeah do they make reference to him in relation to you at all no, do you ever get we, that? we 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 look very alike i mean wow. he's a i'm a replica of him yeah. uh, we 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 actually Uh, uh, a carbon copy of yes. other, you know yeah yeah <laughs> yes yeah. oh that's his name yes <laughs> mzoke is his name wow mzoke is his name you know you know they say uh, dads who never get to raise their kids generally they make their, they make themselves yeah uh, you know yes, yes. you you find that whether you deny the child yeah. or you just never around for the child yeah yeah when you get there it's like yes, yes yeah there was never denying I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and i know but but it was like yeah. this is me man yeah, yeah. <laughs> i made myself yeah. no with me it was just the chiefs of the families but yeah you know my dad uh, always uh, like i mean they had to do my imbeleko and stuff ah. like that you know which is a traditional ritual in True. the Sulu, to you, accept you into yeah, the family to accept me to basically into the ancestry that's it yeah, yeah of, of, of the, wasn't of there the ever couples. talk of changing your your surname no there was there was but i mean i i i use them interchangeably i mean mm. in my signature at work i'm makaten tlapo there you go on facebook <laughs> i think i'm still makaten tlapo yes but uh people know me as makate makate is a brand name now so <laughs> it's become that I, i use i use that <laughs> so makate is your grandparents name grandparents maternal uh, yes. surname yeah bakubung yes yes uh, you realize that in african culture we're not all the same though mm. uh, there's there's you have to be accepted by this side which is why you say that you've done already yes yes no and, for sure and very often the surname almost changes immediately yeah well i mean the thing is uh, with my um uh setup is that uh I, I've acknowledged or in his ticket. Yes. Uh, I'm not really I'm born uh, of the Makatis. Yes. Uh, but I'm actually ngoba uh, thabantwana be be bamazula bashatwa. Mhm. And stuff like that. So so I, I'm 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 a ticket proper. Um uh, but I'm born of Bakubung and they raised me and 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 then uh, yeah he had seals it for me that's it yes yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the second time a conversation like this happens in this in the studio where we're talking about abantwana bashatwa or not eh we had in that teacher who yes, yes. made reference to that as well or kasi sutu eh ngwana wa nyalwa ngwana wa nyalwa yes yes if if in your case eh yeah. uh, uh, a man that would have married your mom yes yes would have married you too Yeah, but uh, you get what I yeah, mean. Yeah, but sure. yeah. But gas gas is all you say I want to have. No, 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 I want to I want to eh I want to have one good about shot. Yeah, you know. So, yeah, you can raise them and whatever and stuff like that, but they still eh uh, uh, belong to to their ancestry. That's so, an interesting so, one. So Wow. So I, get, yeah. I like how you are you are so attached to to that to the ancestral part of your life as well. It's mm. not something that's foreign to you. No, it's not foreign at all. I mean th- even growing up uh, even on the maternal grandparents I mean there are always people that were not frowning mm. uh, to that. I mean they always embrace their ancestry and, and yeah. we're proud of it, you know. I'll always bring bring money as a subject matter because people would watch this they would say ay mashavela o o go ga dotsa hire but o go ga chele daddy ba yeah 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 <laughs> so I'll always bring in money as a as a it's an ad break to yeah. be money in a conversation a, yeah. ad break ad break okay yeah. okay i okay. refer for an ad break okay. as money always mattered to you money yeah as a reality of life no i mean i guess i mean as a means of 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 living as 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 but i mean not not that it not as a goal not as a goal that that uh, everything hung on to yeah. no 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 not 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 in that sense not in that sense and but it I mean, it doesn't drive your decisions it doesn't drive my my decisions that much i mean hore you know it's it's money or or, or nothing mm-hmm. no no it, it's it's not it's it doesn't but money is important i mean you can't discount that it 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 runs this world yeah uh, you need to have it in order to have a comfortable life and do other things that you want to do but it doesn't define define who i am what defines you then in that sense i think uh, having having a comfortable happy life family yeah. life uh, yeah. uh, uh, that is truly uh, you know um embracing of the values that i will want to inculcate which my father's taught me and then my mother sort of like instilled in me 
Uh, that that is important. Yeah. I mean, that is important. I mean, genuine love. I don't teach my kids about money and that you must chase <laughs> this money. I'll I'll rather probably teach them about uh, things that they need to do, the right values, mm-hmm. uh, the work that they need to put in, and and you know, finding their talents, finding things that they really love yeah. and wanting to do, you know, and seeing money really as a consequence of that. Because I think. You you are you are better place having that than having money and without that. And and I, and I like that we, you make reference to it as 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 that because mm. some people may miss the that mm. in it. These are values. Mm. Uh, what type of values do you do you hold dear as a as a person, particularly one that's raised by grandparents? They they taught me integrity. Mm-hmm. I mean, they taught me never to to deliberately hurt people. You know, go out there to to harm people. Uh, I still find that quite quite odd uh, that 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 we we can do those kind of things. I mean, not to not to take away from from what belongs to others as well. I mean, like I, I I said earlier, my father was a a a, a prime example of what independence. Mm. Um, was and 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 how he carried about his life, uh, and that for me is very important. Yeah. I need to be independent, and to be genuine. You know, I, mean, I need to be genuine as a person. You know, what you see, <laughs> uh, it must always be what you get. It must be you know? consistent as it well. Must be consistent. You know, <laughs> I I I tend to 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 think that you know, I, I wouldn't gravitate towards. It's just an example. I think fake goods. Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, I bought my CDs. Yes. And I, would, I didn't want to <laughs> dab a CD. Uh, you know, I, I didn't as simple as that. that. You know, yeah. It's as simple as that. I mean, I uh, that's why I have a collection. I, I took pride in that. Yeah. In in that, I I have this. You know, I hope it's an original. I bought it's an original. You know. <laughs> And and then you know if I were to know also no why is the guy guy why is that 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 will diminish the value that I place in that's it. True. You know, that's that's really yeah how I, I've carried on my life. I mean, and for me really, I mean, it's to be genuine and and then to be as yeah. genuine as possible. Um, Humans struggle with with yeah. st- staying on the the straight and narrow because we get tempted. Yeah, you know that's life, and that's why even in the Lord's Prayer it says, "Deliver me from temptation." <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> humanity is yes. known for that. Yes, uh, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And when those moments happen, uh, we we tend to find ourselves challenged by the very values yeah. uh, that that, that we espouse. Exactly, yeah. and and you find sometimes it takes you back to a moment when these values mattered. Do you ever struggle with them? I once asked a weird question on the radio, and it's amazing the response I got. I said, "Is there any one of the Ten Commandments that you struggle with?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People throw in all sorts of things. Yeah. So, do you find yourself sometimes that you know your values are say, ah, I, you know, and I'll be, I'll see this value tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, and in, in, I think in real life you you do get that. I mean, yeah. life life will always throw things at you, and 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 I think. I think when those moments come, uh, really try mm. and go deep into yourself, and 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 try to to be guided by 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 that silent voice. Yes, you know that 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 will then lead you uh, into a, a journey or a route that you'll never regret. You know. Yeah. Um, you know, you 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 consistently have a smile. Mm. It's a rare thing. Yeah. Uh, because you've gone through so much, <laughs> yeah. and to still have a, a consistent smile about you is is yeah. interesting, and, and I I say so much because it's one long difficult story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of 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 man, will it ever happen? Will it ever happen? Maybe it won't. Mm. Where do you get that? Do you ever get upset? And where do you get that immediate smile about you? Oh, maybe a smile is probably spontaneous. I mean, when I talk about <laughs> things that I like, but I mean. You you do get. Uh, I do have moments that I I feel down. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like you know. Yeah, this is tough. Wow. You know, this is tough. This is tough. But but I think I've always risen. Uh, I've I've always. I guess also is the childhood. There was always a better day. My dad made sure, or uh, you know, the, the negatives are never really part of 
mm. our setup. So I always believe that like him, things will be better, you know, mm. things <laughs> will get better. Sure. Things, things will rise above this. So I've never really seen challenges as, as things that should keep me really low. I mean, I had this conversation with my wife yesterday, uh, you know, about other stuff. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's, it's always this thing of, of knowing that things will be we'll better. Get better yeah. Things will get better. And I like the simplicity of your phrase. It's always a better day. No, there's always a better day. I mean, there's always a better day. I mean, it doesn't last long, that one. That's why I'll, I'll never be in a depre depressive state mm. for a long time. Yeah. It's because, I mean, I think it's the wiring that one gets over time or, you know, you you will be fine, you know. And and you say you didn't develop this all, over time. You've you've always had it I've inside of you. It. I've yeah. always had it. I think I think it was instilled very early. I mean, mm. uh, for me, life. Uh, I'm not gonna come here and tell tell you about <laughs> hey, life in a you know chase. How in a you woman? Obi ma. Obi ma man. Obi ma man. You know those people. Because my grand, <laughs> my my father probably shield, shielded me from his own troubles. I'm not saying that he never had troubles, but. For me, to me, he seemed like a man who it was always solved, all right. Solved things, yeah. And, uh, and and that really, I think, told me that you know, better mm. days will be there. Not that I got everything that I wanted. I mean, there were days that you asked for this, but I was steady. I'm over the shelter away totally, Next. and stuff like that. And you accepted, you, and move you accepted on. and move on. Yes. But I knew that uh, you know, one day uh, <laughs> he will then come and say, hey. Yes, because because Lee we would have it in the back of his mind yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Or he, yes, you know, yes. Yeah. yeah. My boy, my boy needs needs to go somewhere. So, That's it. So I mean, I think I think uh, through through challenges, I mean, we always find uh, uh, solutions. Yeah. So I'm a solution oriented man, and, and I think every trouble presents a, an opportunity, a, an opportunity to to innovate and and, yeah. and bring in new things. Even the troubles that we're facing as a country, I'm sure we're standing on the brink of innovation. Absolutely, seen, absolutely. You know, and I hope I'm the one who creates. You inspired an idea already. <laughs> I'm going to implement it. Do you know, interesting, my mom, yeah. one of her favorite phrases when I was growing up, I don't know whether she was doing it consciously or she was just accepting. And it's interesting. We speak of a similar generation because mm. my mom is turning, what, 70, 78 this year? Yes. And, and she speaks... One phrase that she said over and over and over again was yeah, It's okay, similar okay. to to, yeah. to exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, it, there's the better day is always around. Yeah, it's you always know, around. Yeah, it's always around the corner. Mm. It seems like, uh, and it, it, this conversation takes us back to where we started when we talk about the collective yeah, way of yeah, seeing yeah. the world. Yeah, the consensus, exactly. Mm. And I think, and I may be wrong. Mm. There was a time, collectively, as South Africans, mm. particularly Black South Africans, mm. who were under the hardship of apartheid and all its challenges mm. and who believe that this will end yeah. one day. Yes. Hotoluka became a reality of yeah. their state of mind. Yes, yes. And I think... And they got locked in in that. Absolutely. Mm. Because if you believe it... And nothing could shake it. No, you can't. And that's why it's it, it, it answers a lot of their... Their resilience yes. and their persistence yes. towards towards this this goal. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly you know, my point. You know, you know? So for me, it's neither here nor there. I think uh, I, I'm done with this. I mean, it's I will, a, I will, I will I will come out of this. It's not an issue. Yes. Do you see the end of it being fairly near? No, it must be near. I mean, I've I've already travelled quite a journey. Yeah. Um, we're going to the SCA in a couple of months. Uh, I got a very good judgment. Mm -hmm. last time yeah, absolutely. The High Court, yeah. uh, which brings us closer to where we're going. But there's, there's an appeal. Uh, there's an appeal, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the one before the appeal. Yes. Um, so, it's good judgment. The judge is unfazed. Mm -hmm. uh, even in this appeal, granting them leave to appeal. She's indicated that, no, there's nothing wrong with my judgment. Uh, but if you want to go, go. Go, uh, go and uh, I'll open the door for you. I won't close it for no, you. No, no, no. Let me go uh, Go and ask them. Yeah. So that's where we are at. And and and, and uh, I'm fine. I mean, I think, I think uh, I'll come out of this intact. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll come out of this intact. Has it changed your personality at all, good or bad, this entire exercise? I think it has. It has. Without it, I would not probably be as... As resilient, uh, you know, it has added that onto 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 me, uh, or made me realize how resilient I am. I've That's always it. been resilient, probably, yes, yes. you know, because I mean, I've survived. I mean, I've I've uh, like when I got to promet, I mean, 
uh, being isolated and into my own journey. You could have I, given up. I could have given up. But I mean, because I was set on this goal and I told myself, mm, mm. Being, being, you know, sometimes you are a first born and last born. Now I'm a first born <laughs> and last born. So, so, so on the other part, uh, uh, I, 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 you have to win as a, yeah. as a first born child. You have to. Uh, you, you know, and uh, I'm also caught up as a last born, but I don't have the luxuries of a last born. <laughs> no. No, 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 next. You know, yeah. uh, I'm, I happen to, the, the last one left in the house anyway. It so doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yeah, I mean, yeah. and and I got through that and then, you know, and, and made sure that uh, I can, I can still proceed and to be where I am today. So, yeah. so my resilience Really, they just sh shone a light on it. That's it. More, yeah. than, more than really making me resilient. No, no, no. There's, there's resilience and there's also patience. Yeah. Do you know, you, you, you read up a lot on, on your story yeah. and you trace it back to such a long time, yeah. uh, 2001. Yeah. Uh, and, and you realize that there has to be a lot of patience that come with this. Anybody else would have been depressed and stressed <laughs> and left it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not that I've never been depressed. I mean, only once, I think, when I was at uh, Ned Bank, after, just after leasing Vodacom, got to this psychiatrist, told me that I'm depressed and whatever, Jeez. gave me some pills. <laughs> I uh, never even drank those pills. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, no, 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 not no. for me. What is this for now? I mean, you know. And and I quickly got out of it. Yeah. Uh, and that's my nature. I mean, it's just quickly getting out of these setbacks. True. Uh, it's one of the things that I've 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 been able to prove to myself mm. that I can do that. Even if I were to lose, you know, I'll you pick would, up the pieces. Yeah. I'll pick up the pieces and move on. My life will still go on. The possibility of losing is has it ever became a reality in your mind at some point? I've lost a couple of times. I mean, yeah. even if it was not there, remember at the high court, I thought I had won. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and then what a knock. And then what a knock uh, dismissed and with costs. And when you look at the technicalities, like I didn't even understand these things. I didn't even thing. understand these things. I mean, later on now, I was talking to him like a competent lawyer yes. uh, who now understands this stuff. But I didn't even understand what what was the reason. I mean, we, we won. I mean, we were good. Uh, no, 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 no. We had lost on those technicalities, and I think the legal team as well, as the law stood at that point. Yeah. Um. Uh. We we had lost, but we thought that the high court and they should mm -hmm. uh, do what the CC was supposed was supposed to do. That's you know what I'm saying. I mean, and that's what courts are encouraged to do: is not to wait for us. At the no, CC. no, no. Do it there. Yes. You know, and the SEA was supposed to do the very same thing as well. Do it at that court. Don't wait for the CC. So now they gave the CC the entire work to do. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, I mean, they did not do that bad. Uh, Judge after uh, did not do that bad. And, yeah. I mean, I had uh, all uh, our creme de la creme, or so I would call it. I mean, Justice Mukweng was there. Jeez, you had, uh, uh, you had of course, it's just before yes, Mukweng I mean, it was left. the entire, yeah. remember I, I got 11 out of 11, although there was a major, minority Minority judgment. judgment yeah. I got 11 out of 11 in terms of our judgment. So pretty, Zondo was pretty there. That's pretty good. Mohoyong was there. Dihang was there. Cameron was there. Jeez. Uh, Jafta wrote the judgment. Uh, Ngabinde. Uh, Hampepe. All of them. Do you, you realize that you've completely yeah. become a lawyer? <laughs> 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 completely. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I think I do have an appreciation of it. Yeah. I, uh, I do have... An understanding of it now. Yes. You know, I like the formal codifications, but but yeah, I mean, I'm sure not to disrespect on lawyers and stuff like that. I probably had uh, one of the best article clerks. Yes. Uh, because I've been to all courts. I mean, I've been to arbitration. No, you've been literally throughout. I mean, to arbitrations and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, see, oh, they're the, right at the very bottom. Yeah, there's, there's investors and people that I was fighting and, and <laughs> stuff like that. Kind of arbitration. <laughs> then I've been to high court. Uh, SCA dismissed me and now I'm back. I'm inside the SCA. It's almost like saying the case is saying, no, you can't miss courts. You know, you have to, to go through. All courts, yes, yes. You know, uh, and, uh, and I appreciate that. It's, it's fine. We'll... We we're looking forward to the SCA and then what it will provide. What happens? You know, we, we, we find out a lot about us as we go through these type of problems or challenges. Or, you know, what have you found out that you quite you don't like very much about this exercise for yourself? <laughs> there must be something you look at and say, yeah, I wish I wasn't like this, but I am. <laughs> yeah, in terms of what? Anything, of, uh, your experience of this, of this journey. 
Initially, I like reading judgments, yeah, especially pertaining to me. Yeah. I like reading other people's judgments, <laughs> but I don't like reading my judgments. Oh, really? You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, I tend to outsource them and then get people to <laughs> summarize read, it. Summarize it, but then I read after. Oh, you know, I tend to read way after I've gotten snippets ah. and know what to expect rather than to read them outright. <laughs> You're like one of those people who, who go to the movies like, tell me a little bit about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Movies, uh, I go to movies, fine. That, 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 that I don't want to know. Yes. But judgments, no. Yeah. My judgments, no. I, I tend to 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 outsource a bit yes. and get some snippets, you know. It's so interesting. There are people who really like to read them in in my in detail. Oh, they of know, course. Hey, yeah, they, they that's like, their, that's their yeah, job. That's their job, you know. Yeah. So so I tend to get snippets first and then I read later. <laughs> you know, I tend to shelve them when they come out. I want to go back to the to the moment of of the story that has been told so many times. They're coming up with their yeah with their idea, the story that we know, girlfriend and so forth and so forth. You tell it to yeah. us. No, no, I mean it's it's a it's a really simple story. I mean uh, it's it's that uh, my my then girlfriend now my wife. I mean was at Fort Hay and I was working because I I went to working straight mm, from high school. By matric, so, yeah. So I studied while I was working. Yeah. Throughout my life, I mean obviously I was blessed with the limitless airtime. Yeah, of a, course. As a, <laughs> as a person that worked for Vodacom, we yeah. were also blessed with other additional phones. Mm. Uh, that we could then give to other people. Wow! Uh, you know, so I gave my wife a a brick a Ericsson phone uh, that she had at the school. This and was two thousand and what? And one? And two thousand. Two thousand. Yes. Uh, so so then I mean, um, you you could talk on a phone for an hour and then it breaks. Okay. If you know that, I'm not sure what it does it today. Yeah, I don't I'm talk that sure much on yeah. the phone. Yeah, same here. I wouldn't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> then no, no, phone cuts after an hour. Yeah, so that we know that you are still there. And then you have to retire. <laughs> so so yeah, I mean, she had this phone and then she could not obviously use it for any anything. Mm. It had a SIM card that I'd given her, the number that she still has today. She didn't have the. It didn't have the airtime. Didn't have the airtime. Yeah, uh, uh, and then I would give her money. Uh, you know, stipend a bit yeah. when she asked me, uh, because yeah. I was no bitch. Earning my two thousand five hundred. <laughs> no bitch. I mean, no bitch. You know? <laughs> uh, but you still not 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 buy airtime and and then call me and then you'll ask, hey, can't you what what's Allah? Yes. Why was I was unpaid? Can't you? <laughs> No, 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 man. Hey, man. Glad to say that Spanish is actually taking care of something and whatever. Yes. Uh, it never went to 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 the to phone the to the airtime. Yeah. So, so I mean, we had to come up with a way uh, that even those phones without airtime or mm. with without airtime could actually generate this particular message to entice me to make a call. To make the call. And and I knew that I mean that call would last for an hour. Yeah. And then you translate that to the entire market. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of cash. It's a lot of cash. Yeah, uh, the teal is gonna ring here, you know. <laughs> and then I but you were not seeing it that way at the time. No, no. Um, obviously, when it dawned, mm. uh, it was between us. Yeah. But when I wrote the proposal, it was broader. Uh, to and say, you're a, guys, you're a young guys, man at the time, twenty-four years. Yeah, guys, I think I think we're sitting on a mine here. Yeah. Uh, let's 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 activate this. Let's make this thing happen. There's plenty of people out there. You've got grand kids. You have former friends. Well, you, have, you have kids at school you know, and, kids and so at school forth and whatever the moms and dads and stuff like that. Get on. Let's 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 do this. Mm. And that's really how it comes about. I mean. And then it was implemented within three months. I mean, this was accepted almost immediately. Immediately, yeah. Because they, I, I lead up. The bulb. I mean, they. They. <laughs> I gave them this light, uh, which they today deny and want to because they must pay me. But it's hey. fine. But I mean, I, I. I then contributed with that proposal and said, guys, let's let's do this thing. At that young age and at relatively lower level of employment, yeah, your access to to the right people, the right yeah. channels yeah. to tell an idea too. Yeah. How tricky was that, that little connection well, between yourself and the, and the highest office? I think it helped me because I grew up at Vodacom. Remember at that time, uh, I, I joined them in 1995, February. So this mm. is 2001. So you had been I'm there. already there, I mean, yeah. for, for a good five years, six years. True. So I was quite familiar with the environment and interfacing. It was a small company mm -hmm. then. I mean, executives were like, yeah. I mean, Wala and Craig were like- You would office. see them, yeah. Yeah, like, Jacob Coffee Cell together. That's it. You know, so, so we all knew each other yeah. uh, in that way. So access was not an issue. 
Uh, you all you, you needed all the combination of all these things to mm. happen. And then obviously, I mean, the accountant in me then had to do the sums to say, I think, you know, the call generation and this and and whatever we activate on this side would cost less and then this will bring in more and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, the rest is history. I mean, so you, you know, your proposal included the financial model, so to speak. Yeah, almost the financial model, but without specifying the numbers. True. You know, it's, yeah. It's, it's essentially the logic of the entire thing. Yeah. And, and and how it would work and you know yeah and then and i mean it wouldn't take rocket science for the then executive to see oh flip why <laughs> something I here think about this damn you know, that's why the other one stole it it's like you know Man. why him you know and and you presented yeah. it to you know because i want to trace the, the process you presented to the first guy yes, who was the yes. guy that said great no 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 the first guy was 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 this thing my my boss then former boss lazon change yeah. referred me to product development philip geisler yeah he said great people. your yeah. first guy said yes yeah i said yes i mean go and talk to those guys you know uh the guy that you need to talk to is philip yeah. And then Philip then spoke to him, said, no, let's subject it to a product development process. Jeez. You know, and then the rest is history. What what were you, what was going through your mind in that exercise? That you're changing the world or you're just a young kid no, in no, a company? No, I was thinking of the teal. The teal is for going to ring. For Vodacom, yes. For Vodacom and me. Yes. The teal is going oh, to so ring. So you were aware. No, 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 no. It was the, a business proposal. So you were quite conscious even yes, then. Yes, you, were no. not, you were not an employee yeah. coming up with an idea. No, 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 no. For no. A, this was a business my boss. proposal. Yeah. Guys, let's work together. Let's make money. You knew that from the yes, day, from remember, day one. I, I'm, I'm in an environment at the time of deals. Yeah. At Vodacom. Of course. Deals. Yeah. There's this thing called deals thing. Uh, where where your service providers come and whatever, and then we do revenue shares and stuff like that. Uh, I would go and collect deals. I was responsible for paying the deals. Wow! Yeah. You know, I, so you were familiar. I, I was seeing the money going that way yeah. and that way, and some of the things that they were doing. I mean, they they were not so great. You know, they were not inventive. They were not groundbreaking. And they yet, were not, there were people making people money. Were actually, making kaching <laughs> all all the time. And I said, nah, 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 nah. But I mean, you know. So when I brought, uh, when I came up with this, I mean, for me, it was automatic. Mm. That you know what? I think I've got something that all these guys wow. have never put on the table. Yeah. And 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 really turned out to be that. I, li I like yeah. that because uh, you know I worked for an organization for, for yeah. over twenty two years. Part of our contract uh, of employment yeah. says anything you come up with yeah. in this space yeah. within this contract uh, belongs to us as yeah. a, as a, as an organization. Yes, yes, yes. You you don't seem like you had the burden yeah. of that at the time. And you you had an employee at the time. A, of a, those freelance or freelance freelance, freelance employees. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that says whatever. Specific. Absolutely. I'm doing a project. Yeah. Here's the perimeters of the project. Yeah. Anything you come up with within yeah. this, yeah. you can't claim it as yours. No, no, definitely. I mean, yeah. the Labor Relations Act is, is quite clear. I mean, in our employment contracts, which cannot be changed. If you no. change it to something different, then it becomes illegal. Yeah. Um, anything that you come up with in the cause and scope yeah. of your employment. Cause and scope. And scope. Yeah. So, within, so the two must must be together. Uh -huh. So I was in the cause, but only in the scope. Not in the scope. Not in the scope. You were outside the outside scope. Outside the scope. Has that been a debate at all? At no, any they, one they, of they, the... they raised it at high court, but then abandoned it, you know? Because they could see... And I think they're trying to resuscitate it at the SEA. Oh. And I think the ship has sailed in. They want to keep doing ah, that. They, they want to... They always do things. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, but that was decided a long time ago. No, a long time ago. I mean, they abandoned actually that uh, defense at mm. the high court already because... It was as crystal clear. I mean, uh, you know. Your scope was... was already accepted by the company that was outside scope. Remember, I mean, there's Andrew Tembu, that MD also, yeah. in an article where he commented and said this was outside. Outside his scope so already of it was declared. I yeah. mean, they knew that it was uh, something that they'll never win. Yeah. Since you say you knew in, on your mind at the time that this was a deal. Yeah. You were proposing an it's idea. A Here's a business and concept that I have. This was a deal. Yes. Yeah. So it must have been numbers for yourself, right? Immediately, Jorge, yeah. look, this is what I want. And you have uh, seen deals. I before. mean, the proposal was clear. Was clear. It was 15%. I had seen deals. I had yes. seen deals being crafted at 50, at 35, uh -huh. at 40. Uh -huh. you know? 
So yours was uh, here's a some of them are uh, crafted in the court papers at 85. If you wow. are the son of the CEO, so but I mean it's 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 it's, it's okay. <laughs> that's a jam. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's a jam. Yeah, but I mean that's how. Uh, yes. That's what judge uses as in a judgment. I mean it's yeah, it's not it's not, not, mean, it's mean, not it's hidden. Court papers. Yes. You know, so yeah, uh, I mean yeah, they can be turned around uh, for other people, but it's fine. Uh, it was a deal. Uh, you know uh, that had to be entered into, and it was a mutually beneficial deal. The deal was a uh, uh, PCM. It's mine. It's yours. It's mine. That was the deal. It's mine. And every idea that I we're gonna work together in this thing. Yeah, it's mine. Because you have these tools, infrastructure the tools, that absolutely the market and the subscribers and stuff like that, which I don't have, but I've got the intellect. What's the paperwork? No, there was paperwork. I mean, there were conversations. That's why we have proven the case, yeah. and the CC accepted it and whatever. Was it ever denied that they, they were tried? Open? They yeah. tried. I mean, Alan Craig went to high court, tried to deny, tried to say that he was an inventor, collapsed, having to agree that you know what? Yeah, I think he lit the bulb. <laughs> you know, and, yes. Uh, after being shown the proposal, yeah, and being forced to read it under oath in the box. Wow. And then, read the very proposal. Yeah, yeah. And the tell very us proposals. if this is your because yeah. it, it, yeah. that's when he claimed yeah. it was his and, idea. And then it was being compared and contrasted with the Vorocom product development document. Jeez. And uh, and there were replicas. Wow. And he said no, but yeah. Where, it's his idea. where is yours? Show us your yeah. He came up with, you know, and he couldn't, and he had to collapse, and rightly so. Jeez. You know, uh, How did you feel in those moments when that was, that was one of the lowest moments in my life? Yeah. I mean that that he would come and do that. This is I mean a man that one respected, a doyen of industry, a captain ah, of industry. Cute. You know, uh, but I mean obviously the modus operandi there was a bit different. Very different, yeah. I was really swimming with sharks and, <laughs> and literally in lions dens and stuff like Have that. Have you so. felt that way though? A, no, I a mean, lot that it I, did I mean feel like that like that. I yeah. mean in in around 2001 when i was busy pushing um philip geisler to say mr geisler how our deal my man what's yes, happening with our you deal? forgot what's <laughs> happening uh, i see you you launching now huh i see uh, then 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 i got to learn uh, from my then boss lazarus that uh, the guys that told him that allen said that i'm never gonna get a cent out of this and i was greedy Uh, and I'll get that was then that was right that at the was beginning 2001 sure um, and yeah what the, what was 15% seen as greedy at the time yeah it was seen as greedy i mean with, with his intellect i mean that i have to respect him for he could see what 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 this thing was yeah he could see what <laughs> i had an eth Mm. he could see what was the blind spot of catapulting these revenues jeez uh, i mean i mean it was a first in the world transported to all uh, these jurisdictions of Vodacom adopted by your MTNs mm -hmm. CLC licensed um it was a gem i mean yes. uh, so 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 he could see i mean that I'll give, give him credit for i mean for trying to block it to yeah. another ceo i mean would not probably understand what this thing is about yeah and and, and that that i have to give him credit for he understood exactly the that value that was, of was in the pulse of 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 of, of innovation at that point. You know, the general sentiments around your colleagues were they aware as well of yeah. of whoa <laughs> this is about to be something else no there was there general appreciation no, there were not. i think i think with, with pcm i mean but it flew from the start I mean, they yes used that no it, it took off me. yeah but i mean all the struggles and stuff like that they were not aware of that of course yeah. but one jew guy who died michael gordon whom i was a a a student of mm. uh, in in finance told me something that I still remember to this day uh, as a Jewish guy. He said to me, uh, Nkosana, I want to tell you, uh, do not trust these guys. Yeah. The only person who really, really cares about you is yourself. That that for me was fun. It would later become quite, quite important and pivotal. And we were very close with him because, mm. I mean, he was my mentor and a person that I worked with. Jeez. Uh, uh, Michael Gordon, he died actually running comrades because he was such a mm. junkie. I mean, he went from cycling and then he trained for What? comrades, wanted to run <laughs> comrades. crazy. You know, and yeah, you move from cycling to, to, yeah. to this thing, to, to running comrades. And it was his first time. He died on the line. He cr What? They made him cross. And, and then uh, yes. that was the end of it yeah, for that him. That was the end of it for him. He told me those words. I mean, when I was still working with him, during, in the midst of, this. of what was happening, he said, uh, the only person who really 
really cares about you mm. is yourself. Wow. Yeah. And at the time, it was just a yeah, statement. For me, it was just a statement, you know, trusting, you know, Oh. Yes, Antoine, son, come son on. of son of the oh, company. You know, you know, thinking, you know, everything is unkitori. We all good, and I'm mm. bringing these guys money. You know, the tail is gonna ring here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Ever had a a, a one on one with uh, with Alan Ott? No, 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 no. He tried to talk to me. I think after he had testified, he asked as to. I think he was confused and asking who was after he finished his testimony. I think with the relief. Mm. Uh, of being in the box, the box is not a, a child's. Box. Nah, <laughs> <Being there. Yeah. laughs> it, it, and then he tried. Even if your for, story is good, yeah. It's, even it's, if your story is good, you know, <laughs> and then he he was trying to look for me, but I've never really had a conversation with him. Never. No, no, not post this. Have you ever wanted to? And at some point in the history of this entire thing, you did say at some point you wanted to have a chat about. Let's just solve this without. Yeah, cause. no, no, definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I mean, in 2007 when I wrote. Uh, my email to them it was to try and establish that conversation yeah so you could say that i wanted to but i mean that door was shut for me immediately uh, immediately i mean yeah through the letter that I, i've recited to you not seeing you now or ever seeing you in an appropriate level and appropriate forum so that that was it there's also a, a, a letter that i don't know whether it was in the form of a letter or not where there was a you will never get anything. There was some communication like that that said no, no, you're getting absolutely nothing from No, us. the communication, yeah, that letter, I think, symbolizes that. Yes. But there was this other letter that they said that I, I, I am now, the company is now in trouble. I stole this thing from MTN and stuff like that. And What? Which Alan rightly denied also under oath and said, nah, That's, we're first. I mean, yeah. <laughs> true that, that MTN was clumsy, you know. <laughs> they had to adopt ours and indeed I mean I've got some communication from MTN mm. where you could clearly uh, decipher our, uh, they gravitated towards what Vodacom had later on not you spoke about the licensing of this to other other uh, providers yeah so in its exact format it was licensed to others yeah Celsius licensed it uh, MTN was allowed to gravitate towards it there's yeah. a mutual beneficial agreement apparently but they have an agreement have an between agreement the two of, guys yeah of, of mutual shedding of benefits and stuff like that because they are two big players true slc unfortunately they're a small player but they had to license to, yeah uh, yeah <laughs> yeah and then vodafone adopts it also spreads it around all its operations. essentially i was about in, to get in there Safaricom, kenya in uh, uh, egypt uh, in, in, in <laughs> india and all these countries yeah so its true value doesn't sit on sit only in south africa no it doesn't it doesn't but certainly my fight now it's a south african fight it's not i was a, about to ask do you, do you fight with with others then no my, my fight is it's a, it's a south african fight it's a yeah. welcome south african fight yeah. is there an appetite or a value in 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 fighting beyond this point not really i mean not 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 really um i think i think let me not You Even, predict the future uh, you know <laughs> let's not predict the future the future yes. is the future <laughs> but i'm here yeah you're uh, here now is, is this fight yeah and i'm focused on it i have to go to the sca the financing of um of such battles are, is not easy uh you know a lot of people have always said but you get it yeah yeah you know and and, and i've learned it's, it's a unique part of the south african litig litigation system yeah. uh where there are these people who fund a litigation battles yeah. of this nature it's actually not unique it's an international phenomena yeah but in south africa it's yeah. not something you find it's not, often it's not, it's not you don't find it often exactly. it's very scarce what makes it scarce using using your 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 voter battle as, a, as a reference i think it has not really developed that much um uh, and also It could be that uh, litigation in South Africa has not matured like in the States. In the mm. States, I mean, this matter would be done and dusted a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and they don't fear numbers. You know? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't play around in doing these things. No. I mean, you know, uh, they, they do these things proper. Yeah. And there's jail times sometimes for all these things. So, so our, our market has not matured that well. Mm. Um, it's a new phenomena. In our space, we still need to create a consensus for mm -hmm. it, you know. Uh, so, so we're working on that and creating this consensus. So, I think it's because of that. Yeah. And 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 our. But it exists the side of this of the legal system. It does. It does. Yeah. It does. I mean, you have rogue players as well. I mean, the guys that I landed up with were one of those rogues. You know, mm. also have a good chance of lending to them, and and they will take you for a ride. I mean, they Jeez. will pretend to be funding, but they are not funding. How did you find them? 
uh, the no, guys that you, you were with. I was publicized on the papers and they came to me. Really? Yeah, wow. I mean, the star then wrote an article. I won my uh, first, I think, battle uh, in 2010. Mm. Uh, Judge Spelg, uh, when we were just trying to discover records from Vodacom. That's when I won, uh, and then I got publicized, and yeah. Who, who, who did you who did you fight? How did you how did you fund that? No, first, that, that win was funded by me. Just yeah. uh, you know, grabbing yeah. Masilo Atenis and whatever, combining <laughs> an advocate. Let's go. Uh, then financing it, you know, uh, paying a stipend and a retainer fee to the advocate out of my salary and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And so at, at some point, this you could have. You could have been in a position where you couldn't afford it. No, no, definitely. I could have easily been in that position. I mean, even now with this huge battle, I mean, without being, having, I mean, the legal team that I have, mm. I mean, are probably some of the best uh, this country has to offer. Yeah. They're second to none. And, and I mean, I've got throngs of lawyers, it looks like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've got throngs of yeah, lawyers. They could, I mean, they could fill up a, a, a parking, a, uh, a high ace. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, they were saying, I mean, I've got some of the best advocates that, that this country has to offer. Yeah. I mean, I mean, your secret packer and Reynard Machau, Stephen Butlander, Gilbert Marcus, I mean, yeah. these are renowned, renowned. Advocates. But who have taken a liking to my case. True. You know, who have taken a liking to this case and won it. And, and and invested their time, mm. uh, you know, uh, some are on contingency. Um, uh, the core team is on contingency. Mm. Uh, so that's how I'm able to survive. And yes. I mean, you have to oil somewhere. So I can't go around then buying uh, <laughs> a Bentley. the latest Bentley, <laughs> the latest uh, uh, Bentley is too far. I mean, the latest uh, yeah. uh, uh, one series, three series. I would have said a million rand. Hey, Mona, you had two series. That's why you see go more ceiling. Two series give a million rand. So so, so I, can't, I can't go around doing those kind of things because yeah. I've got applications. Uh, that, that that I must attend to. I mean, yeah. once in a while, I have to to make sure that the matter moves forward. And part of that is making sure that you know uh, you don't you don't you don't yeah. focus on on on, on trivial things, things yeah, on trivial things and stuff like that. But also, uh, technically, as we've said earlier, you haven't received anything. No, no, I haven't received anything. Yeah, I mean, I haven't received anything. I mean, the, the CEO determined what uh, forty-seven million. Forty-seven million recently. Yes, yes, and he um, said it's it's it, and the, what the court said it, that's for five yeah, years only. Of yeah, of for five the, years and stuff like that. We yeah. don't even know what his formula is. I mean, that thing is. We <laughs> say it's a thumb suck. <laughs> it it, was it a is indeed a thumb suck. You know, yeah. you can't prove it as well. Yeah, you can't say this is how I did it. Hmm. So so yeah, and now he's been given a proper formula to do this thing. Yeah, <laughs> so, work around this. Yes, yes. This is this is what you're gonna do, uh -huh. uh, and this is how you're gonna do it. And I imagine and that's you, what he's fighting for. You guys went in with with models. No, no, definitely models. Yeah, and to develop models yeah, costs time it costs, and money. It costs time and money. I mean, experts, actuaries, yes, quants and stuff like that. I mean, I had to employ those mm. in order just to go into the systems of Vodacom to try and decipher data, get data, wow. scrutinize, create models and stuff but those i mean helped us uh, to come up with come up coming up with what they have i mean they yeah. remember you know the attitude that Vodacom had adopted in this entire case before 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 the cc mm -hmm. uh, when they were still winning or maybe before we got to court yeah they know what P uh, bitcoin is generating it generate billions for they them. They knew that. They knew that. Yeah. They flaunt it. <laughs> they they know the numbers that it generates on a daily basis, uh, thirty million uh, a day or something like Was that. Was it before you before. raised your hand to before, say before 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 wow. they publicized this, they put this in annual reports and stuff and all those things? Come the case. Uh, we've never calculated this thing. We don't know what it's doing <laughs> and whatever. You know, it's a strategy that they adopted, wow. especially post Concord, into the negotiations. Yes. And that's why we end up where we are. Even now, even they, now. they still operate with no, the. No, 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 no. Yeah, the CEO had to now say, I've done it, but uh, I can't tell you how, but this is it, you know? <laughs> uh, but luckily, I mean, we've got very clever people uh, uh, that have worked with me and we are able to recreate and do these things yeah. and show courts uh, how much this product has made and what it's worth. Yes. You know. Was there ever a time when Vodacom deliberately wanted to deny you access to their information? No, they, 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 I mean, I only got access to that information when I walked out of negotiations yes. and went to the CC and asked the CC, what must I talk about? Because these guys don't seem to want to talk about anything, you know? <laughs> uh, I want to know, uh, 
Yes. What must I really talk about in these negotiations? And I think rightly so, they denied me that access and referred me back because I was then supposed to go to the CEO. But you can imagine why I did not go there. No, of course. And I mean, in hindsight, yeah. that was not the place to go. It would have been... It was, w- was the guillotine. And of course. You know, would so, have been a waste of your yeah, time. A waste of my time. I mean, yeah. he was aligned and for we driving these negotiations anyway behind the scenes. Wow. So, and which was not supposed to, but he will always claim that he was independent, but he was not. So... Justice. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the concourse said he must not be part of it. Mm. I mean, we know that uh, all those people are his subordinates. They reported to him. I mean, they, there was no way they were not going to tell him. Naturally. They were actually under mandate from him yeah. in those negotiations. So, yeah, but you'll never say that to courts. No, of course. Yeah, I mean, in his affidavits, you'll never say that. Nah. He says something different. Mm. Yeah, so it was that. I mean, yeah. I, I, the you numbers were denied, the systems were denied, uh, we <laughs> forced our way in. It's only when- <laughs> Through we, the courts, yeah, you when, could get- In that failed application, uh, when I wanted to to a CC, mm. they then agreed under oath that they will allow me access. But- Then I hang on to that and said, guys, under oath, this is what you told the CC, access. And finally, finally, I could now deploy my accountants there and my quants and Shut stuff and all. What's that. been the most difficult part? Because it seems like that that was were, one of it. The negotiations were very tough. Yeah, the negotiations were very tough, very hostile, very tough, brutal. Just you know, and you were there sitting there. No, I was participating. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're I, part of all of this. I've always, uh, you know, uh, led led from the front. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know. Wow. You know. So yeah, no, that was tough. That was tough. What feeling do you get? You know, when people look at you, they get a feeling. That feeling is, hey, Tani, it's very new, get pie. What feeling do you get about all of this for when, when you look at yourself and you look at your life experience? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've been part of something great. Yeah. Uh, that I must admit. And I think the journey in itself has probably elevated the story, uh, elevated my case, mm-hmm. and maybe to the benefit of all other people, I mean, so that they can learn and then consensus. <laughs> yes. uh, so, so, um, but what do I feel? I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm not the person that, the limelight is never my issue. I mean, I'm, I'm mm. a person that retreats uh, yeah. most of the time. I mean, I, I struggle with, being a center of attraction is not what I want. No. You know, I tend to take the back seat. I I love the world of masks and stuff <laughs> like that because it makes one, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but to us born out there. Visible. Uh, yes. Uh, which is good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, that's that's where I prefer to be. Yeah. You know, most of the time. Uh, but uh, uh, because of the gene that I've traveled, I'm forced and trusted. Into this, uh, into, into these, these conversations, these conversations, yeah, you know, yeah. which which ordinarily I would avoid. I mean, I took time before agreeing to dinner. I said, but, uh, what, does, <laughs> "What do you guys want? I mean, what, <laughs> what do you about? Talk about? Yes. You know? I'm, I've talked to many people. Can't you yes. go and grab these things somewhere? I mean, you <laughs> put know, them together. And put them together, and, 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 and you know, present wow. what you want to present. Yes. But I hope it's been worthwhile. But also worthwhile having conversations like this. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's it's part of history. It's part of collection. That's it. Uh, people will will grab them and read and try to understand what's in my psyche, what drives me. Yeah, uh, what makes me who I am and stuff. And then I'm hoping for a good ending for the benefit of South Africa. Actually. That's South true. South Africa needs that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It needs a successful, uh, uh, please call me, uh, through me. Uh, and our courts needs that. You know, mm. uh, that, mm. that we we begin changing the face of, of, of how things are seen. Yeah. You know, people would have, would have seen from Lindwes Sulu's letter and stuff like that. I also happened to feature somewhere there. <laughs> she says, no, no, my God, has been struggling for a very long time. Because the legal system discount, is not. We can't discount uh, the struggles, yeah. those struggles. And, there, and there are many. Uh, yes, I'll talk more about the, the legal system when I'm done. Yeah. yeah. I'm still in it and I respect our legal uh, system. I trust our courts mm. and I think they are fair. I think the judges do their best that they can. Mm-hmm. And, and so you've never felt like you're ill-treated by the legal system? Yeah, you 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 can get a feeling, but I think uh, objectively looking at it, I think things have been fair for me. I yeah. Think, I think, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, at some okay. point you wanted the, the, the courts to do the calculation. Am I correct? Not really. I've yeah. never really wanted courts to do calculations. I've done calculations for yourself. Courts. I yeah. just wanted them to accept them. Okay. You know? Yeah. As as because I don't think they are in a position to do them. It's and even too... Judge Hughes now, uh, those 
the order it's a proposition that we have made from our own experts mm-hmm. it's not what she comes up with and no. stuff like that no no, no. I asked this. it i asked this because i remember at some point as i was observing the story from a distance we would say but why don't they just come up with a number yeah you know yeah. somebody has to come up with a number you propose the number uh, 20 rands and vodacom is saying 2 rands and and we're saying courts come on help us here yeah. Uh, you know Gosana is struggling here with the yeah. conclusion to yeah. the story we, we are exactly at that <laughs> point when uh, uh, David yeah. because the review we had to use was exactly what you are saying now mm-hmm. it's, it's Gosana has these numbers the CEO has these numbers 47 these <laughs> this is why these numbers are right this is why the 47 is wrong and indeed the 47 was found to be wrong yes and needs to be to be kicked out uh, yes and and then we move with my numbers that I yes, yes. formulas my numbers but that that that, co- that carries on essentially <laughs> that carries on yes that uh, judge use she amplified them a bit of course yeah uh, yeah and the value of 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 pcm doesn't stop with uh, with your case essentially yeah because it carries on it carries it on yeah that mean that means the value of your numbers is not particularly correct because it changes every day no no definitely changes every day yeah. I mean, look at the judgment when 2019 were at 18 years mm-hmm. now we are at use says no 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 20 years because the product is continuing true and the nature of the contract is that pcm must make me money for as long as it operates that's my point so, so that's the nature of the contract yeah. you know, although i'm willing to to walk away at yeah. some point because you know it will be no use oh, i mean generations man uh, Wait, no man <laughs> generations <laughs> no no you no, must no. get the money for help the son of the ceo <laughs> well, yes I'm not the son of the ceo that, that seems to grind you a little bit uh, <laughs> that small detail I'm not, i'm not you know yeah. if i was uh, i was i was born uh, on the right so, wrong side of the tracks yeah <laughs> unfortunately uh, you know tracy chapman says that <laughs> <laughs> so you're happy to say I'll only get until this date and I'll walk. Yeah, I mean it's 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 to walk away and bring a conclusion to the fight. True. Uh, to also show not not to overburden our courts with uh, you can't also go to courts and give them in determinate uh, kind of like a True. infinite yeah. uh, decisions yeah. to make. Yeah, it, it carries on. Part of the court process is that you need to be finite. Mm-hmm. And and you you force yeah. to be finite and it makes it easier for courts to then adjudicate and deal with your matters yeah it's like it you know? if it carries on in perpetuity then yeah, they are guy they are guy so yes. what are we ruling yeah uh, you know it, it it it's a problem because i i see it simply by saying but the cc has ruled on an ongoing contract that's way. about it's yeah. about it's about it to say no 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 it's <laughs> only me who says no 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 I'll, can we can we stop I'll, it i'll stop it at this point for ease of of administration oh, true yeah. but it also uh to be fair to this point Vodacom should be happy with that no they should be happy that you are you are saying <laughs> let's calculate it from Monday to Friday yes yes and then you can take Saturday onwards yeah it's fine That's it's okay it. I yeah. mean they've been the problem with Vodacom is that they found themselves where they've been taking the onwards forever you know so now it's difficult to let go of <laughs> Uh, of the entire uh, yeah. uh, um, you know value that they have not provided and given to me and i think that's where the the, the problem is but i mean they must get over it i mean at and move point, on yeah they need to get over it 15 and 5 are very far apart mm. your initial proposal many many years ago 20 years ago so said 15% yeah and the courts have said 5% Yeah. And you're happy with that? No, it's not the courts. I mean, in the in the negotiations, they never negotiated any percentages. It's now a common cause, it's public knowledge. Yeah. Uh we we then went to the CEO had to come and adjudicate that mm-hmm. break Ooh. between the two parties. Okay. Submissions this side submission. <laughs> it was almost like a mini court. Uh, just call up and calls it a quasi judicial. Mm, mm. You know, so we go there and then we make our case and lebo ona ba it's their case to their own CEO. Very nice. Eh? Weird. Used to yeah. be it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But rather unusual. Yeah, really, yeah. Uh, very unusual. It almost sounds like it's slanted on the wrong but side. But had to be done. Yeah. You know, uh, so yeah. was it procedural? Well I mean looking the, at the history of the uh, entire thing it was procedural I mean the concord did say that he will be a deadlock breaker so mm-hmm. it was procedural. Okay, yes yes and yeah. then had a semblance of fairness mm. but it was inherently unfair you know at uh, its core yeah at yeah, its core it was yeah. inherently unfair you were you were judging I mean, I mean this is a referee and a player that's it that's, that's exactly that it, yeah you know uh, so so yeah we had to make those submissions and then we said to him between we we're moving away from the 15 for your ease uh we'll make it uh, i think we said 
between seven half of 15 seven and a half yes yes seven and a half yes yes that range that's it yeah that's what you choose you chose what <laughs> you choose is five you could have held on yeah i could have held on to a 15 but i mean i we said no for ease of you know moving forward let's make your life part of, part of good faith then uh, seven and a half and, and five that's mm. our range and we're not dropping so you've had a few so, so he then went to a multiple I mean, he then went to the lowest of the lowest. Of course. And of we course. said to him, no, we're not going to pursue international for now. I mean, <laughs> don't deal with international. Yeah. We're not there. You know, let's let's deal with South Africa. Yeah. And then, I mean, other things, because PCM has fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, out of that came, please recharge me. And then out came, came uh, advertising. Yes. Out of that came international revenues. Out of them came digital sales. All these things. Are the, they included in your... They are fruits of the tree. Yeah. Of the very same PCM tree. So so we said, no, no, forget the trees. Let's talk voice. Voice is... Is, mm. is, is really the, yeah, the debate here. We'll, 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 we'll deal with voice. Let's, let's talk with just the cream. Mm. Voice. Mm. <laughs> you know, let's that's leave amazing. out the other things. So, so, I mean, that's what we did in trying to, to continuously get to a point of consensus. I, 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 listening to you now, I have a feeling that there were a few, the tree, as you call it, much, much bigger. Yeah. And you've decided to take very little of it. Yeah. Based on, on listening to you talk about it. And you seem to say you did it just so the story ends. Yeah. I mean, progress. Yeah. So we move on. Otherwise you would have. Yeah. Otherwise you get stuck in, 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 in huge fights and major fights. And, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it was really trying to, it's an olive branch. To saying it's fine, you let's know. let it go. Let's let it go. We'll 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 live with this. Jeez, but <laughs> yeah. It seems like what I'm trying to live with is still what difficult. they're not trying to live with. That's an interesting you know, thing because yeah, because yeah. you know people who be listening to this will realize that you could have gotten ten rands and you'll be happy to take one. <laughs> no, essentially. Yeah. Well, the, with the formula, I <laughs> mean, if the formula is transparent and fair, that would have been the, the case. Yeah. You know, so yeah. You're happy to say, let's take one, yeah. and let's just walk away let's, from let's, this. Let's not walk away from this. I yeah. mean, already we are in that space. If you think about it, because yeah. of what it has done internationally, what it has done in terms of the fruits of the tree, yeah. and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, it, it looks like look, looking looking at where the, we are. Looking at the fact that they may have made ten. Yeah. It's amazing how they have are have, having a difficult time giving one away. Yeah, I think I think it's ego now that that is really. I mean, I've been battling with I think the very same, same CEO in this fight for a very long time. Yeah, uh, Alan did not litigate with me. Um, uh, Peter Ace never really litigated it with mm -hmm. me. I mean, I've been in litigation for all this entire time in courts with Shamil Yusup. Yes. You know, so <laughs> I think it's it's more about win or lose. True. Than anything else. Yeah. It's, it's more about, I mean, from what I hear, he's always maintained that uh, this is no more than a lotto, you know, telling his <laughs> employees. <laughs> so to them, you look like a guy who's... Yeah, no, no, what he was going, yeah. what I was going to be paid was always not going to be more than a lotto. Wow, you know, uh, even and a lotto before, is yeah. All those things, were, even before lotto was moved to okay, ninety three now. True, what is lotto now? It's, it's, yeah, it, it has reached <laughs> over a hundred million. It's over a hundred million. Yes. So, yeah. so this is his lotto then. I think it was about uh, forty seven <laughs> or something like that. So, hence we always talk about Damsak. But I mean, that's the mentality and attitude uh, that one is dealing with, and I understand that. Yeah, you know, uh, it's about people see it as win and lose. And mm, stuff. Mm, mm. Jeez, yeah. it's a tricky one. Yeah. Do you know, I want I want to conclude and 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 set you free. However, mm. there's issues of future perspective. Mm. When you look at your life, we can't help it. Humans, we we look to the future is almost naturally. Mm. What do you see when you when you look at your life and 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 the case related to your life and this matter that you're dealing with? No, I, th I think I think the the conclusion of the case. I mean. Hence, I've said, David, I mean, it has already bequeathed other benefits to the country, True. the legal benefits. I mean, now we're dealing also at the SEA with another technical matter regarding a valua and mm. expert valua and what can you and can <laughs> do. Yeah. That's what the SEA needs to correct. They will give clarity to that, yeah. uh, which will also shape our laws because valuas are really now being treated like quasi-judicial. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have the sacred space anymore. 
and they used uh, to for a long time. They used to for a long time. Yeah. So so now we're changing that. Huh. And judge you has done that. That's amazing. So the uh, SEA needs to affirm that. So so for me, it's it's these legal mm. uh, benefits and judgments that that people will then be able to use in future. Mm. But also is to I'll, I'll most likely step back a bit, uh, reflect on my journey and my life, yeah. and <laughs> what it has been. And then I won't disappear into ether. I'll still come back and I think I'll still positively contribute to the country. Yeah. Uh, because I think there's a lot of talent and things and that we can do. Mm -hmm. And and I'm I hopefully I mean one will still continue to uh to delve deeper in terms of innovations and things and what can be done. That's and I true. think that excites me as well. Yeah. Because it also links very well with consciousness in my in my instance. That immediately when you tap into that into the fundamental of knowledge and mm. you can be able to bring it up um, and then and, and get some critical observations that you can put out there and you're pushing and, society in a particular and, way uh, definitely yeah I mean, and and that's where i see my my life and yeah. being, being with my kids and seeing them grow and <laughs> would you retire as a as an, an almost decision because i say this because you you still wake up to go to work yeah, every, every do, morning i'll probably be doing so i'm gonna do something different I'm yeah gonna retire. i'm still young to retire mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, we will retire as in, as in i don't feel like going home, going anywhere today <laughs> yeah yeah i mean work work i'm sure work of a different kind yeah it will still happen you know uh, yeah, not not. Uh, I'm not looking at retirement, not at all. I no, mean, I still look at contributing, probably in a different way. Mm -hmm. you know, and and I'm hope I'm hoping this journey does uh, put me to that and propel me to that. You know, getting a job at Salgard, a government institution, looks after mm -hmm. uh, municipalities, a, a rather unexpected space. Mm. Uh, uh, for you, I say this Vodacom, NetBank, and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what led to that? Do you still apply? Do you still have a CV? I <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> still do. Apply for a I job. Do. I do. <laughs> I do. I mean, the uh, experience at Vodacom taught me, okay, I never got my first job with a CV. No, of course. I got yes, it with a letter. Through a letter. Yeah, <laughs> that at this puzzle shop. That I wrote. <laughs> yes. Then the rest of them was obviously through a CV, but yeah. It also, yeah, it, it's also uh, through networks and mm. people that you have worked with and that will also know who the way the kind of person diligent person that you are and yeah. stuff like that but it's also all accounting work mm. you know mm. so my base at Vodacom prepared me for all those positions yeah you know i could apply for them and and and, and, and get, get those gigs yeah yes, yes, yes. so what do you do for for salga now no I'm, I'm an accountant but currently i'm gravitating towards business development that's okay. what i've been doing for the past two years yeah uh, where where i'm receiving concepts and ideas and stuff like that evaluating them okay and trying to grow their revenue base that's what i'm seized with uh, yes. but i also do accounting work i'm still in finance yeah you know and that's what i do that's what i do it's it's interesting how how do you relate with <laughs> I ask these because these are questions that people would ask. I don't know Pila Zhuang da man. Like but to pass man alone whenever it's a man I got a billionaire tomorrow. Yeah. How do people relate relate to you? How how do they how do you exist? I hope, within? I hope they relate to me as they relate to all other people, honestly. I don't yes. know what happens in the back of their minds, <laughs> but, but I hope they treat me fair. And, and so they, far, it's been... It's been okay. Yeah. It's been okay. Is there is there always a, an immediate knowledge of who you are? No, no, definitely. That that you get. That you get. Yeah. That you get. I mean, you, you get in the public space. Obviously, that work is automatic. Of course. But uh, yeah, I mean... Do you ever get it? Are you there? <laughs> no, you do get that a lot. A lot. <laughs> really? No, that you get a lot. Yeah, that you get a lot. When people confirm that, yeah, no, no you, you you do get a lot. Are you that guy? <laughs> yeah, like like people stare at you and whatever because they I think I've seen you somewhere, you know those <laughs> kind of things. But yeah, you know. Yeah. But I mean, especially for a person like me, who really likes to retreat, and then my mother would blame me for taking my own corner. Mm. You can imagine what that is like. <laughs> You know? <laughs> so in that moment you uh, always withdraw no I've, I've always i i i greet and talk and yeah. you know uh, but it's not my space it's not the the comfort yeah it's not, it's not where I, i'm comfortable at and like to be yeah do, do people have said uh, you as an inventor or initiator what is the most appropriate phrase in your opinion of 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 the uh, uh, please call me because as some would say well he's not an inventor he's the initiator and whatever they, you know yeah. does it even matter to you yeah no no i don't think it matters at all but i think 
I think in papers I'm referred to as an inventor. Yes, and uh, even your, in your legal yeah, papers. But, but yeah. I mean, my, my concept of invention is that nobody in any event invents anything. I mean, uh. we, we, get to, we get to discover yeah. things. You know, and people are discoverers more than inventors. We don't, we don't invent things. <laughs> you know, we, we, we discover things yes. you know, through, through uh, intense observation of phenomena. And then we... We see links. Yeah. And say, hey. And hey, you know, but you know, if you want to say that is invention. Yes. But I think it's more discovery than 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 yeah. than, than invent. I mean you still have to initiate it. Once uh, it's so I don't think you can confine me to initiator. No. Uh, otherwise you're discounting my 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 thought process. You're discounting my ability to observe phenomena. Mm -hmm. uh, initiation happens right at the at the end of it true where true. you know you've brought this thing together and now you are saying you know let this let us take it forward but i mean yeah i think i think i'm just a discoverer of things mm, and that nature mm. brought them into my lap and, you know, and I that's it to be in the right space at the right, right time and and that i think then brings the ability or almost the consciousness to to be in that space because you've been in that space mm, mm. you know if you haven't been there you are not able to know the space you know? no so, no no yeah. no yes so so you could have been you could have missed it by a minute no i could have missed it yes i, mean, I missed it i mean <laughs> uh, but i mean the the nature of things uh, the time i was there in my accounting background the environment that i happened to live in the, the problems that I had, yes. you know, I don't think that was the first person who had that problem. Of course. Many people had it. But. But, you know, <laughs> you know but that uh, ability to then think deeply about it and, you know, and, and conceptualize and the environment also helps uh, to bring out something like that. You have, know? have you been called lucky? Well, I mean, Alan said uh, probably it was luck and stuff like that. Oh, he's done yeah, that. Yeah, he yes. said that in the box and, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, but he seems to have loved that luck. Well, yeah. He that wanted to make it his own. So Yes, yeah. your luck yeah. to his benefit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the well, I mean, not even to his benefit, also to his uh, almost like adoption. Yes, you know, true. Owning. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then spreading yeah. it across spreading the world. Spreading it across the world. And then suddenly you come and tell me that uh, <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> you're just lucky. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it was luck. But I think nature put me in a space where where I was able to assimilate it. Do you feel that at some point you you were treated like a, a little boy in the space? No, I was. I was. I mean, I think I was. A, a little black boy. Yeah. Know, just a yeah. Boy. A little black boy, you that, know, from, from the township. And, mm. And and the fact that I would never rise up and take them up or on for as long as I have, you know. So at some point um, they could have thought that nah. No, no, I, exactly. I mean that's what they thought. I mean they remember this is a company also that's used to really taking and not giving, hmm. and and really suffocating people. Yeah. You know, I mean there's yeah. this other guy, one number for life, a white guy. Who ended up hanging himself. Wow. He had invested, I think, about a couple of 20 million in something concept. Jeez. Gave it to these guys. These guys took it for their own. Uh, he wrote a note. I mean, his his uh, last uh, mm. whatever on suicide, suicide note. He said, um, I merely pulled the trigger. Vodacom killed me. Whoa. Jeez. These so, things happen. So your, your strength, it could be much of a surprise as well to a lot of them oh, that uh, is not going to last. I think my nature has, yeah. has truly surprised them. Uh, has, <laughs> has it surprised you? Uh, no, yeah, I mean, to, <laughs> for it to be revealed to me. Yes, yes, true. yes, that I can be that strong. But I've never really felt that I'm, I'm fighting this huge... I've always seen them as individuals. In really? That I was but why is that? Because every time your story is told, yeah. it's the story of a David and, and David Goliath. Goliath. Yeah. yeah, yeah. because I mean, obviously they've got the balance sheet. I mean, that makes it a David and Goliath. Yeah. But I've, I've, I've seen it as, as people that are humans. Mm, individually. Are humans, individually. That yeah. I, uh, because I interacted and I was in the same space as them. True. They have their own fears. And and that I guess working with them at yeah, some point yeah. has demystified, demystified their size, their size, yeah. uh, to me, you know, has has basically collapsed it, 
so so for me it was never there it was always uh, about individuals yeah i mean Vodacom is a great company it's a good company there's individuals there uh, that that tend to think that they are bigger than what what they are yeah and then and sometimes that happens you know do you look at Vodacom with a sense of gratitude sometimes when you look at your history with them no I'm, i'll always be thankful i mean i'll always be thankful of Vodacom this was my first formal employment yes and as a young young as kid as a young young boy from Katlehong yeah. first job 2500 rand per month jeez you know and that was life changing amount that at the time it was life changing yeah. i mean that was life changing i mean it was not too far that much but it was life changing mm, no yeah and well for kids yeah you know, could do a lot with that i mean i could still take a tax taxis and go to Sentin to work and come back and That's still it. buy groceries it could take you oh yeah, you know, far. yeah i've been there you i know, know all about <laughs> so, it so, mine so, was my first one was yeah. 1900 yes, so i know yes, all about yes, how far yes, it goes 2000 2005 when they increased it yeah, yeah. after tax it was still 2005 yes. because i mean it's too low <laughs> to, be to, to be taxed anyway. yeah <laughs> you know so so you survive so, so yeah, you survive the wow. the ex of the tax <laughs> you know but introduced one to sentin city as a young age walking around the mall there's mm. different people seeing different environments yeah uh, so that changes your your perspective that changes your you know mm. how you you go about life you and see and that's vodacom really you vodacom. you put, put give full credit to no, that no 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 vodacom vodacom is uh, is vodacom i think i think i think it's individuals do you, do you, do you still look at it with uh, do, you, do you still actually let me ask this question in a much more simpler way <laughs> Which line are you using? No, no, I I I changed it when they were t- starting to spy at me. I wrote to the CEO. Oh, really? <laughs> and I said to him, <laughs> "You know what? I'm litigating against you. I hear those voices and and cross calls in my lines and what? stuff like that. Please can you look at this?" That's amazing. Yeah, he never came back to me and whatever. Then I I walked into a water shop at Mitrent and said, "Guys, and apparently surprisingly they were now ready for me mm. no engagement no wanting to retain me or anything no 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 they don't want no, you no 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 no, no 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 they they didn't give me my line <laughs> so then i went to mtn <laughs> yeah, that's amazing but i had uh, been with them i mean for a while yes for that time, 20 14 even when i was still in trial by the way you were still using a vodacom still using number their number That's amazing. So so yeah, I mean I was still in there in Degas Road in in the Lions Den <laughs> uh, there. So yeah, then I changed it to 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 I moved it to MTN. So you've never held ill feelings for for Vodacom, not really. For, not for Vodacom the corporate entity. I've got no ill feelings for Vodacom the corporate entity. I've True. Got, I I I've had issues with individuals yeah. in that company uh, and that's it. Do you know we live in a in a very unsafe society. Mm. Crime is a part of our everyday life. Have you ever felt a little unsafe cuz you drove here alone unless there's a car parked outside no, and no, I'm no, not aware no, no 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 I I've never I've never I mean, I'm a township boy I mean you've it's, never felt uh, it's our country I mean uh, no no I've never really walked with fear I mean yeah I don't think that would be beneficial to me I mean that's true I try to live my life to the fullest and and, yeah. and, and without any fear uh of yeah. things that would happen to me i mean because if they happen they'll happen anyway that's true you know yeah. so i cannot really be held in bondage and, and so you haven't really changed much about your your life no no lifestyle. my life lifestyle yeah. goes on I, my lifestyle <laughs> goes on i go to katlehong <laughs> i come back i go to santin and out and yeah i go how does ngosar enjoy his weekend weekend yeah. uh, pff, what do i do <laughs> L- lately i mean obviously with kids i mean you attend to all these activities yeah that they have i mean that that i i i do but um i still like going to a restaurant by myself mm. just alone and, really and, and having a meal and not even with the with yeah. the wife no with my wife we do that often yeah, i mean yes. go to movies i still go to movies by the way wow you still like you the know, big screen i still like the big screen <laughs> You know, although now we've adopted a a home movie thing. Okay. Kids, yes. Movies at home. It came with lockdown, so we've now continued <laughs> with that. But yeah. my wife and I, when we really want to watch movies, we go to the movies. Wow. When we watch a movie, so yeah. I still enjoy that. So what? Boranyan. 
Yeah. Well, born yeah, you can say that. <laughs> but I mean, I also love football. I watch football. I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm a Pirates fan. Mm, so, askies. you know, I used On to both go to fronts. the stadium. Askies. Yeah, askies. But we'll come back. <laughs> yes. Now, let Ten Hag know. Maybe we'll touch in just something. Yeah, there's always a new guy. <laughs> there's always a new guy for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, yeah, otherwise, I... I I just chillax. I mean, go hit a few balls with my little one. She's yeah. now practicing and trying to play golf. Okay. And yeah, that's yeah. obviously your introduction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yes, we, we try and do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You come across as a very easygoing guy, uh, you know, with not a lot of hangups. Uh, you come across that way. You know, you don't care much what's happening this weekend. No. Uh, if there's something happening, if what I'm a piano somewhere. No, 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 no. And no, you no, don't no. come across like you've ever been that kind. No, 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 no. I mean, I've been to festivals like any other yes, person. Yes, of course. But, yeah. I mean, my life does not not revolve around uh, events and stuff yes, like that. Yes. I need to be at that event and that event. No. No, you can say that I'm boring in that sense. But I mean, <laughs> once in a while, I do go out and, uh, to that and that. Yeah, nothing too hectic. Yeah, nothing yeah. too hectic. No, nothing too hectic. I'm glad you listen to Radio 2000. That means your taste I, I, in music is pop. <laughs> 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 so no, I do. You, I do. you made, me, made me aware that, no, no, I know when you're competing with people. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. No, no, especially when I'm driving for long distances. Yes. It, it is one of my default radio stations when I'm traveling. So, yeah, but uh, it's also one of the choices that I have yeah. on the programmed stations. Oh, yes. So, so, it's always there. Yeah, when I'm bored with talk radio. Yeah, which uh, happens a lot. Which happens a lot. <laughs> so then I'll, I'll go to, to yeah. like like the, the two million gang gang guys. Yeah, listen to that. Uh, you know, <laughs> you, know it us, you know us too well. <laughs> if I'm bored with those. <laughs> uh, then, then this other lady that comes after that. Yeah, uh, okay, so who's have, that? Who come on? Come on. Tommy Guy say. Tommy Yeah, then yes. I'll listen to Tommy Guy say a bit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, 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 so I'm always dialed in yeah. when time is there. Otherwise, I play CDs, I play, okay. I play music. You're still one of those yeah, who have, play CDs. We have CDs. No, I play CDs. Yeah. So I, 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 I like owning a CD. Jar. You're old school, man. <laughs> you, can, you can move on now. But I can stream. I mean, I can, I no, can of course. stream uh, yes. you know, your YouTubes and whatever. And who do you that. listen to, though? Uh, who's, whose music appeals to you, both local and international? I like Zonke. Really? Yes, I, I love uh, her CD. I mean, her music. Yes. Uh, I think I've got her CDs, uh, almost all of them. Uh, I listen to a lot of Tandiswa. Uh, I've always course. listened to Tandiswa. Yeah. Yeah, internationally, uh, I'm more into, uh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, the reflective person that I am would always go to Tracy Chapman and listen to Tracy Chapman. I think yeah. she's very deep. And, and Actually, you made reference to her, yeah. her lyrics, so yes, you listen yes. to Terry G that that much uh, regarding the tracks, uh -huh. alongside of the tracks and stuff like that. So yeah. I listen to that, but I'm um, I listen to a host of artists. I mean, I'm a fan of Eric Robertson, yeah. the Deep Soul uh, okay. genre. Yes, um, yeah, Bruno Mars. Uh, oh yeah, Bruno Mars on you. my wall. Yes, I've always <laughs> had that Bruno Mars with me and and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm quite versatile. Oh, listen to uh, that! <laughs> and then now he's doing a Sonic thing. Uh -huh. you know, so yeah, it's it's a it's a, a variety of of music. I mean, uh -huh. I listen. Uh, well, my music that occupied me when I was uh, writing the letter to to join Vodacom in oh, those years. Uh -huh. In 94, uh, I was listening to Peter Tosh. Jeez. Uh, Bush Doctor, you know. Yeah, <laughs> of yeah. all things. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and Aratuka, uh, Mama. Aratuka. <laughs> you don't lately, comb your hair lately, lately, much. Lately, what has happened lately. there? <laughs> no, 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 no. I always go to the same place to cut my hair. Yeah. At home. Okay. And I've always cut my hair there. Uh, to this other guy, they've always been foreigners, but I've gone through generations. Of okay. Them. So, so, so if I don't go there, and I've decided not to go for a while, oh, and that's why. So it's by default. It's not really horrible. <laughs> so you, you, I, I cannot you, you haven't been to your barber. That's no, the story. no, I haven't been. He called me the other day. I'm put a hey, man. Because I'm deep. So mm. now you am posing, hey, man, who guy? What, what's happening? Hey, get out, man. Hey, get out of the man. Because I've seen so many of you. But I'm enjoying <laughs> the, the, the uncombed. Uh, it's a DJ's boo thing. Yeah, well. You'll I, be hugging trees soon. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, more, not more DJ's boo, but it's also. It's also a Jay Z thing. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, getting there because they have the whole yeah, problem as well. It's, it's that, and then it's a new guy, Toby thing. Hey, you, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and lawyers. <laughs> it's it's also a, who's this uh, EFF guy? It's a Buiseni thing. Buiseni thing. You know, yeah, Alka, yeah. my man. 
<laughs> Come on, man. My, my wife is not a happy about it. Of course she's Because not. I do my cards. I'll do a mohawk. Yes. You know, I was, uh, I'm a mohawk person. And December, I'll always do a mohawk. And now I'm not doing it. <laughs> you just yeah. don't comb your hair. Uh, no, no, no. I've, I've resorted to <laughs> not combing. I'll cut it and still not comb it. Yes. Yeah. Talking about your wife, having she's been a part of this journey from day one. Yeah. It's it's a it's an interesting love story I imagine as well that she's been a part of this and she stood by your side all the way through this. Yes, yes. And and surely she you you look at your your setup as a relationship and say we we've we've done okay together through this. <laughs> and or how, what is your perspective about about her her immediate support in your life? Oh, no, no, she's always been a pillar. I mean, she's always been a pillar, a good mother to 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 my children, yeah. a good wife as well. Uh, yeah, I mean a very strong person, a strong personality. I mean, mm. um, and the journey, I mean, would been would have been probably much more difficult uh, uh, without her. Really, and her support. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, to make sure that our life still continues as well. While you are, while I get absorbed in in this world, it's heavy for her. You mm. know? Um, uh, it's not an easy thing, but I mean, you know, other other people would have long ran, you know, uh, <laughs> another slave queen <laughs> would have would have hit the road <laughs> much much earlier. But uh, I think I have a, a much more solid person than yeah. That. And 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 uh, and you you started dating very early on very in early, your life. Very early, at prom and college I met. Uh, yeah, uh, this is yeah. this is a high school sweetheart. Yes, 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 yes. Proper. Yeah, I met her at Guatemala because uh, I was in Springs, and you know, yeah, it's close you know, by. Yeah, yeah. yeah, high school when there was a cultural day when there still used to be those. I mm -hmm. don't had cultural days. Mm -hmm. We used to have them back then, then as well. Days. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. Were you wearing all sorts of uh, traditional yeah, outfits? Yeah. And there's also and like your, your, your silk and whatever. You no, know, oh, yes, of course, of course. You know, those, we do break dancing yeah, yeah, as break well. Dancing yes. and boys to men, of course. Barbie and stuff like that. Yeah. What what drew you to her immediately? Oof. I think I think I was I don't know, I was just referred to her. So oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. What <laughs> asle? <laughs> yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. Was it a difficult courtship? No, it was not that hard. It was, it was, it was, it was spontaneous. <laughs> she might not like that. She was easy. <laughs> no, 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 it was spontaneous. She would yeah. like that it was spontaneous. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, that, was that, spontaneous. That's preferred, yes. It was spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. spontaneous. Yeah. 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 Has, has this setup with Vodacom, or this challenge with Vodacom, tested you guys at no, all? I think it has. It has. I think it continues to. Uh, it has, but um, yeah, I, I think it has... Uh, made our resolve stronger i mm. mean we don't really talk about the case that much i mean yeah. once in a while we'll talk about mm. why is this thing ending <laughs> <laughs> is that a common phrase yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> with these multiple applications i yeah. mean that that one gets to yeah just it yeah. can't be easy have you lost people in the in the journey of this no this? lots of people that have lost in the journey yeah I mean, my grand lo lost in the chain. I mean, if you fight for over 20 years, pe people are going to be lost. People will die yeah. <laughs> physically. No, yeah. no, physically. I mean, physically, my, my granddad as well in that, in that process. Uh, I lost also a soldier of, 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 of mine, a friend, a dear friend, mm -hmm. who happened to be also a whistleblower uh, in this matter. He was, we also started working together at Vodacom. Last year, we lost him, Debo Mdaung, dear friend of mine. Yeah. Life is not the same without him. Because, I mean, every little time that we had away from our families, we'll spend it together. Wow, yeah. So, so that's how close we were. And, and, and I lost that friend. Mm. Yeah, last year. And it's very recent. It's clearly no, still it's, it's, still it's, fresh it's in your... It's not even a year since... since wow, so, yeah. So that was hard. That, mm. that, is, mm. that, is, that is a true soldier. That yeah. I lost, uh, you know. What 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 role did did, did he play in, in in your fight for this? No, he was just a he obviously became a whistleblower, and then also I mean a person that that was a sounding board, a, a true sounding board, and then and one will, will will later talk about him. I'm sure you know when one gets a chance. But yeah. It's been a what a, friend, what a friend. I mean, yeah. He was and you say you met solid. back then, Coco Vodacom. Yes, yes. We met as uh, we started as trainee accountants, the ten of us. Yes. He came from the Val, and uh, he was from the Val side. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you connected because of your Sotu. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> of uh, yeah, but also 
Yeah, he started in in Pretoria. Oh. I started with the other guys, the three guys. There were three of us um, in 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 uh, the Sentinel office. Mm-hmm. It was Colin Hari, you know him. Yeah. He's, uh, he, I think Kai FM. Yes. Oh, yes. Colin Kai. Was, yeah. it was it part of the part of the ten? The ten. Wow. That was selected, and then uh, Ngabam Kotli was from a. Uh, Deep Kloof in Soweto and myself. Then we started in Sentin. They were started with uh, the other guys. Uh, the other seven were in Pretoria, based Jeez. in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, then later and joined us. Yeah. And you stayed close friends with. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, with with Teboho. Teboho in particular. Yeah. In yeah. particular Teboho. Yeah. In particular Teboho. Uh, and other guys, I'm close to. I'm close to Neva as well. I'm, mm, I'm close mm. to him. Uh, but Teboho, we we have. True friends, we're yeah. key friends. Yeah. And we stayed together. Uh, we're tight. If yes. if, if you wanna yeah. uh, uh, term it in that way. And have you lost a uh, friend now, not physically, but but and uh, not necessarily friends, just people who fell by the wayside as this journey was getting longer and longer and harder yeah. and harder. Yeah, I mean the the journey will always uh, bring people to you. Others will go. Yeah, and others will <laughs> stay. You know, there's many people that have come and gone. Have, have your your legal team thought ah, it's a lady day, <laughs> not no, this current. No, the time. legal team is uh, is a different. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think I think there's an appetite. There's always an appetite. We'll see this thing to the CC if needs be. That's it. Uh, that's it. You know, and that's where we'll end, and that's where it will end. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we are prepared to go there if we are required to go there. And their purpose yeah. built for these journeys. That this is what they're designed for. This yes. this particular a uh, 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 company that you're working with now, or company of people you're working with now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, I think. Uh, because they've been with me throughout. I mean, I've never really changed legal teams. Mm-hmm. I had the first legal team that I moved away from who won my first application. Yeah, Wait, the attorneys. one you were, who were funding. Masilo attorneys, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, we're still close with yeah. Masilo. Um, and then and then I've had uh, these guys yeah. uh, for the whole journey. Jeez. Uh, of and you said it's a bus full of, <laughs> of lawyers. Uh, it's a yeah, bus yeah, full yeah, of yeah, lawyers. Uh, this other lawyer... Uh, from Vodacom, uh, the SC uh, by Solomon's, mm. he always says his tongue in cheek that uh, he's not sure who's the David, who's the Goliath. Because <laughs> yes, the numbers yes, are. The numbers. <laughs> uh, in the arbitration before Sh- Shamil, <laughs> he said um, um, he's because I had like throngs. <laughs> uh, and then it was just him on the other side. Wow. And a guy that was with the CEO, another SC, uh, uh, Michael Cooper. Uh. And he was representing Vodacom by himself. He, before he starts his presentation, he says, hey, I'm in front of the royalty of the legal profession <laughs> here. I am not sure who's David and who's Goliath anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I do have 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 some of the best, uh, I mean, I, uh, uh, legal heads yeah. that this country uh, has to offer. That's it. Eh? That I can say without fear of contradiction. And 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 they've been there for me, and and they've supported me. They've, uh, but I mean, as to whether another person will be able to get that is another story in this country. True. And I, and I imagine the, the the legal fees are covered within the litigation. Within the win. The litigation, yeah. Within the litigation, yeah. by and large. I mean, mm-hmm. unless in other instances where we co op this, co op that, Cars, yeah. that needs to be paid and which I need to fund. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. You know, and the other distractions like your arbitration that the former so called funders took me to, I had to fund that. Okay. You yeah. know, so yeah, I mean, except for those other costs that have to be done, you know, the, the, the crux of it. Mm. Uh, are then covered within the litigation because, because it's not a cheap case. No, it's this. not a cheap case. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like I'm saying, I mean, to get access to the kind of people that I've had access to, no ordinary man on the street no. will actually get that. I mean, I was telling my wife yesterday how, even in the midst of all the troubles, we should still consider ourselves very blessed. Yeah. Uh, to to still retain these, these legal guys minds yeah because you'll be slaughtered in these courts and it speaks uh, to proper representation ex- exactly that it speaks to the how imbalanced our society yeah. is in that context Very that imbalanced. that a small case that would change the life of millions of south africans yes. Yes. Uh, would would require expensive lawyers for it to go anywhere yes. and a big case like yeah. yourselves which has the same results mm. would still require lots of money would still require lots of money i mean i mean i mean yeah it's it's, it's, it's not cheap it's tens of millions yes like yeah it's tens of millions 
yes. that you'd have to pay in legal fees and other professional fees yeah. in order to get the case to where and to run the litigation in the way of that. I'm sure Vodacom has paid well over 200 million. No, of course. Uh, on to, on to yes, this thing. So, yes. so they understand exactly where I'm at. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but you have to see it to yeah, the end. I have to see it to the end and the pressure that I would, I would probably be under. And if I'm, you don't. If I don't, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, 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 but I'm hoping that, I mean, it changes things. Yeah. We've already changed laws. And remember with cases, what happens is that once a matter gets decided at the higher court and at the CC, mm -hmm. it sets precedence and makes easier for David when he comes there. Exactly. Because then they can get to the market. There's a case, absolutely. Yes, yes. So now there's a market versus It's Vodacom. one of the most quoted cases in our court systems That's currently. That's amazing, eh? Especially the CC's judgment. Yeah. It's the most, or one of the most quoted cases. Like in the Magata versus Vodacom yes, issue. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Because critical issues had to be dealt with there. You've changed uh, the of, world, of, my of, man. Of prescription and, and ostensible authority and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you feel like you've 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 changed the world in not some really, way? Not really, not really. I mean, a <laughs> I better. would feel different. Yeah. I would gain complexion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You I've don't. Heard, I've heard about about what Pretoria East will change their complexion. <laughs> change Once complexion. they move from Mamilori to ah, to, to, <laughs> boss, to Saint Julian, <laughs> I would change complexion. They complexion. change complexion. I would change complexion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I think one will reflect properly when this thing is done. But I'm aware. Of, I mean, I get mm. told as to what the case has done. Yeah. There are people that will come to me, there are people that are pursuing their own matters. They would say, hey, man. The case, people that seek advice mm -hmm. uh, from me and whatever in their own battles, you know? Wow. Yeah, you get to you get to interface with those things. Yeah. In, in in our little world, your fight is, is, is one of a, a black guy, a young black boy. Yes. Who is has moved a lot of mountains yeah. and we see it yeah. and we are aware of it. And I, I remember you get a lot of support from, from uh, ordinary South Africans and also uh, famous South Africans and politicians. I remember at some point, Lisufi yeah, <laughs> was yeah. up in arms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was tweeting all the time. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. So how do you feel when those moments happen? And when you say like, I did, I'm just living my own small life. Yeah, no, no. I mean, obviously, support is always appreciated, especially from ordinary South Africans. Yeah. I think, I think, I think politics are different. Mm -hmm. uh, I've appreciated. I mean, the Sufis, you know, yeah. the angle that he took. Obviously, in defiance from what the <laughs> ANC does. I mean, the NC is a benefactor. And, mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they rely on donors and stuff Gosh, like yeah. that. Both Vodacom tend to be. Uh, in a position to do that. And you understand their and, position. And understand their position. Yeah. That's where they at. I mean, they must deal with their own issues as mm -hmm. long as they don't interfere with my issues. Yeah. Uh, then I'm happy with that. But You've never needed that kind of help. No, no, no. I don't yeah. need that kind of help. Yeah. Uh, I've always relied and, and and my lawyers as well, gladly, they are not people who are hey man, robot a support ya mama. Mm. Robot a support ya, you know, mm. no, 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 it's not. MEC. Like <laughs> <laughs> Premier. <laughs> Premier. <laughs> no, no, we are, we are, we are, we are seized with our legal battle. Yeah. And, and we, we are working with that and making sure that that works. Yeah. Because we don't have a, a, a case where we are throwing a stone in the dark or trying to fishing. A fishing mm, expedition mm, and stuff mm, like mm. that. It's nothing like that. We've got a solid case. We've got a solid case that runs by itself. Yeah. And that is based on facts. It doesn't need to be oiled no, by No, politics. no, we don't need to oil this and <laughs> yeah. grease that, grease nah, that. No, nah. no, no. We don't I, need I prefer to. oil. It sounds better. Greasing <laughs> sounds dirty. <laughs> do, do, yeah. do you ever feel a little suspicious of, of sudden friends and sudden calls humans are like that we are opportunistic in our nature yeah. where hey man was hey get up 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 you know those kind of things do you ever do you get suspicious of those type of things or how do you take those yeah yeah I guess I guess I mean that naturally will happen I mean yeah. uh, it will attract all sorts of characters and stuff like that but I think also what the case has done has taught me a lot about human behavior and and, and you know, I've had genuine people in my life. So yeah. 
I can separate, you know, mm. uh, what's real and what's not. <laughs> and stuff, you, you can know. see your... Uh, I can see your, no, this is that and that is that. So yeah. I'm not too worried about that. Because fortunately you have the, the ability to... No, 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 to I sport do. it. I yeah. do. And because, it's happened. Because I've had... I know, it happens all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it will get worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once the check is signed... <laughs> it, it will get worse, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. But I still enjoy going to a restaurant and eating by myself. That, that for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind that. I don't do mind. You get ro- do you get that. sudden rock ups and say, hey, Joe, you have, hey, Joe, not much, yeah. Nothing. Not much, not really? Much, not much. You you do get people that greet, but not not people want to plum and stuff like <laughs> that. that. Well, I guess I'm mean. Maybe my grandmother was, <laughs> was, was, was I, I, I'm surprised that I smile a lot, but yes. I do smile, but maybe when I'm uh, sitting there, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've been told that I'm a difficult person to approach. Ah, you don't have the, you know, the, the immediate. I don't have that immediate. But yeah. once I'm in your space, you actually get to see that I'm, I'm an easy guy. You know? I know someone like that, two yeah. people like that. My mom has a similar face and Glenn Lewis has yeah, a similar it, face. It. Uh, and once you, once you jump that, yeah, geez, man, these are yeah. like the easiest he's a, he's people on the planet. Guy. I greeted him because he used to give me a lot of audience, by the way. You must tell him. That, yes. I mean, I greeted him, go sent in gym. Oh, team. yes, yes. But I was, uh, I was in a cap and whatever and, you know, uh, I, I, I thought that, but he was very, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> I, I could see that. I said, no, let me not bother him. I'm sure lots of people do that. Yes. yes. So, but I mean, actually what I wanted to do is to thank him for all the audience that he's given me oh. uh, in the past. <laughs> when he was Go Metro, uh-huh. Go Unati, and also when he was Moko 2000. I mean, he always called and ask, hey, what's happening? Mm, like that. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. I wanted to, but I'm, I'm sure I'll meet him again and do that. You see now, now you, you understand. Thank you. Now yeah. you understand yeah. he's exactly like you. Yeah, no, no, he's, he, he's withdrawn <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. yeah, but once you, you talk he to him. He came there, I don't think he will know Jimmy. Look at it. Ah, Sheba, Sheba, come on, this guy. Yeah, not today. No, 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 Jim is not, like that. He's not going to, he's not going to, he's not going to trade. It was not the same thing, Jim. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you know, I'll always be appreciative of, of this opportunity you've given us to chat yeah. because you've given us an insight into, into the person, you know, into yeah. Nkosana's life, the person, and really what you go through with this. And, 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 and I, I like that you said it's not as easy as it may seem because yeah. most of us, we, we're looking at the lotto win as, as yes, it's yes, been yes, called yes. once. Yes. The consequence. <laughs> we're looking at the consequence and our, 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 our interpretation of your existence is he was born, he came up with an idea, and yeah, he got money. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at the distance. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know yes, what I mean? Yes. In between, I mean, there's a host of things. There's an, a, there's an entire yeah. life story. There's yeah. an entire people who, who pass away, yes. you know, friends you lose. Yes. And that's why I say myself here, and the guys at my office, we are appreciative of, of you agreeing to, to this chat. It's the type of chat that will encourage someone mm. who's probably pursuing a, a, whether it's a challenge in life yeah. or who is... I has an idea, yeah. you know, and, 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 and what do you say to the value of, of ideas? Uh, do we South Africans, are we as innovative as we would like to think? I think, I think we are innovative. We are, we are probably just not aware of it, yeah. but, but we are, we, because we face challenges. I mean, we've got some of the greatest challenges. That's true. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, we, we, we are, it's just that we're not acting upon it. Mm. And if we act upon it more, it will probably shine through. But I think we also need a change. Um, uh, because those who have the resources mm. and and those who have who don't have uh, and and unfortunately, I mean, what then happens is that the ingenuity and the intellect and the challenges and reside on the other side, Ish. you know, <laughs> and and it's how we find this marriage. Yeah, um, I mean, imagine if I was embraced and taken up at that time. Mm. Uh, correctly so without put on the cover of a magazine as uh, the guy that came know, up with this yeah and then the deal goes through without issues and stuff like that can you imagine the proliferation yeah. of that of many other of many ideas. ideas yeah and then what will then t- what, what will that take Vodacom to uh, and other corporates not just Vodacom mm. in this country so I think we need to bridge that gap uh, it's mm. this monkey theory hey. this monkey wanting to eat on right? its own yeah and we think that it's normal and we, we almost think, Hore, that's how things should be. But I think things should be actually the other way around. Yeah. Uh, if I'm in their position, and that's why I'm doing business development at Salga now, uh, it's that people must come in. Yeah. And they must come into a place of refuge. 
when they come to me, it's a place of refuge. Mm-hmm. I want to try and swindle this guy and whatever. Take, take him this oh, thing. Oh, you immediately say him. Hey, Mashabe. Hey, Mashabe. I like the way I chase. I like the way I chase, Mashabe. Oh, no, no, no. Romela is twan. I don't want to go to the end of the day. No, no, no. Sure. I mean, uh, and it's precisely because of my journey. Because mm, you are know this. Yeah, because I know this. Yeah. And I think wow. South Africa would do much more better even corporate South Africa for that matter, will do much more better mm. uh, in, 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 in simply opening it up. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter where your car like, it doesn't matter where you come from. Uh, if you self-destruct, you self-destruct, will learn from your self-destruction. That too. You know, but they would have done their part. Mm. And, and, and that tends to have this chain reaction. Uh, then then I, I, I'm not only a Allen not Craig confined to my own circle. Mm-hmm. With his circle. That's true. A new That's circle a now. New circle. Yes. You know? yeah. That's how you break inequality. Yeah. You don't break it by this 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 convergence. And we've done it KPE and stuff like that. Mm. There is this thing liking of one person that we go to and that's where the deal deals are concentrated. Mm. Yes. Being like monkeys that are keeping all these Yo. These, these bananas for themselves and stuff mm. like that. That's unfortunately, I mean, to a detriment of our country. And that's what, that's what is happening. And we need to change that. Yeah. And, and change that. You know, if we can. You know, the way you say it, I, I like that how you're saying, had you been celebrated right at the beginning, yeah. it would have encouraged yeah. I mean, a, a thousand other young black boys. We have a Silicon Valley type of thing. We, we, have, would, we, yeah, we have, would be there. We have, we have a, a bomb of, of ideas. Yes. Uh, because that, kids now yes. think it's possible. Yeah, they think it's a, it's a new consensus. Mm-hmm. It's a new consensus to say, you know what? Let us also see what can happen. Yeah. Once you do that, it's a whole ecosystem. The world changes. Eh? The world changes. And then suddenly we don't find ourselves... Uh, having now red, let me talk about the grand, the bad, the bad. Let me talk about Archas. Let me talk about Zang. You know, it's all those kind of things that then tend to happen. Yeah. Because the monkeys are keeping everything to themselves. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not calling the monkeys. No, no. An and, and look, no. You and, know? and your analogy yeah. Yeah. It, it has been explained very yeah. clearly. No. You know, something that uh, Johan Rupert says, and uh, he says it's not fun to be rich alone. Yeah. I, I find it surprising. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that because I, he, wants, he wants us to buy Katia. <laughs> because he wants to uh, market Jedi Katia you buy see, us and stuff like exactly. that. Which is true, by the way. Yeah. You know, which is true. Wow. Which is true. But I, I mean, I wish that could be practicalized more, yeah. even on the companies that they own, mm-hmm. the executives that they employ. So, guys, it's, 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 it's okay, man. Spread this. Spread this. Share thing. this. Spread this thing, you know. Spread this thing. Let's yeah. you no. Know, let's make it great. Then, then we're avoiding all sorts of societal ills uh, that that we are we are engulfed. Sign up for president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't 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 uh, play with that. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the same. I'd say I told him first. <laughs> I wish you well out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, your your, your story is encouraging. Thanks. Your story it should motivate a lot of young people. Thanks. Uh, to think of ideas and 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 do something with them. And and if if there's ever a message that that this this conversation yeah. it gives is is. Don't just sit on it and don't yeah. don't think small, uh, you know, because you could have, if you think about your life, you could have thought this idea is too big yeah, uh, or no one will take it and it would have ended where it ended. Yeah. Who knows right now, we wouldn't have had, <laughs> please call me at all. No, no, at all. Yes. At all. And I've always maintained that and people... I've said in one of the tweets, or my, the CEO of Alcom must get it clear in his mind. There's no, please call me without Without you. you. There's no, there's none. It doesn't exist. Nothing like that. Wow. You know? That's a, that's a life changing like statement there. Something like that. Yeah. You must get that into his head. You wow. know, that there is, there is no PCM without me. Is it still a profitable business entity? No, it's still generating a lot of message. Remember, PCM is an inequality product. Mm, of course. Uh, my wife. Yeah. Used PCM as a student. Uh, we used it mm-hmm. ourselves daily. Mm. Uh, you still get 20 million messages being sent on the Vodacom network alone uh, daily. 20 uh, 20 million what so 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 pcm is it's like you need to graduate i get it from no 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 of course you know, your life you, needs to yeah once you work yeah. you start working and earning some now, money and uh, then you are graduate uh, you know <laughs> but somebody else <laughs> somebody else takes up your up space the because we are such an unequal country anyway that's it because we feed uh, yeah. the, at the bottom uh, so much 
I mean, hence your your unemployment grows, your inequality grows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The world will still top. I mean, yeah. that tells you the story why PCM will always then be relevant. Is because of this inequality. It's a rooted inequality. And that's it was why taking from Peter to no, to never. To God, yeah, you know? and that's why my my very blunt ignorance of asking does it still work? It yeah. shows that yeah, you, I've I've you, moved you out exactly. And as a result, your, your other people have graduated, so they don't send me. <laughs> they don't my send my you, niece so. is right here. She doesn't yeah, send me. Please doesn't call send me. me. Please call me. <laughs> yes. you know, I don't know how old she is, but you know. <laughs> she's in her mid twenties. So mid-20s, she doesn't so she doesn't send a please call. Very young me. when it was concerned. No, of course, yeah. yeah. Wow, you know there are kids who grew up. Yeah. and lived through a time of please call me. Yes. And here's the guy that created it. Yes. What's going on, boss? Thank you. Do you man. sometimes look at yourself in the mirror and say, like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> None nah, of nah, that. Nah, nah. I just discovered something. Yeah. That, that changed things. Yeah, that changed things. Yeah. Happened to be at the right place at the right time. That's it. But I think there's always a right place and a right time for all of us. It's yeah. just how hard we step back and reflect uh, on our challenges and times. I wish you well. Yeah, they say we suffer more in imagination than in real life. That's it, eh? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It is a phrase that says the idea is worth nothing until you do something until about it. Until you do something about it. It doesn't matter how great you think yeah. it is because most of us have a lot yes. of great ideas. Yeah. And there's no monopoly on them. No, no, no. Yeah, they're all, all out there. Yes. It's about acting on them, you know. Yeah. That is the message. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. And you've given us a... Uh, Two hours and 53 minutes. You know, I was about to ask when I was coming here, or how long is this thing going to last? Because I don't want to be here for too long. But in any way... Ask keys, I'm glad you didn't fine. ask. I'm glad you didn't ask. No, no, I could see the way you are relaxed. Oh, no, this is going to take long. Yeah. Ask keys out here. Like Imandra Pate interviewing me the other time. Yeah. After one of the cases. And then I think probably, I don't know if she never had content on her show. Oh, so she kept on going. Get it now, but uh, Iman, can't do what's happening. No, 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 let's start right at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but what is this about now? Oh, no, 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 no. We, 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 we're going to mm, talk. Well, how I, I, I probably did not understand yes. what the feature was about. Ah. Because uh, it was a long feature. No, oh, yes, I thought, yes, oh, no, yes, it's yes. my, these in and Quick out ones. interviews. And now oh, I had geez. to start I from the beginning. <laughs> I'm glad you're kind enough, though, to, yeah. to indulge us. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, because we, we, this is a long format interview. That's what, that's what we do on this, on this channel. Yeah. We really say your, your life story can be spoken about in 10 minutes. Yes, yes. It's just, yeah, it's, it's not possible. It's exactly. Because uh, we will be skimming through the surface and that's not right. Yeah. And and I feel, let's let's allow us, you know, the opportunity to hear it. And yeah. and so we appreciate it. And we noticed that there are people who stay the long haul yeah. and listen to it from beginning to end. Yes, and there are those who listen and then come back later. <laughs> later and then <laughs> and come back up, later yeah. and come back later. Yeah, Thank yeah. you again, Otiak. No, no, thanks. Thanks, Babichi. Osinganga. Nkosana makate wa? There you go. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. There we go. King King David Studio Podcast.